I clearly don't respect you. And there's no reason to respect you. We're going to go through all of the points as to why you deserve no respect. Okay? Okay, so the first time I watched it was because my friend was on your stream. The second time was because oh, you were making friend? a response. Oh, well, excuse me, sir. Can I finish my response? The second mm -hmm. time was because you were watching me, so I decided to watch and respond. And the third thing is, is that when you are so ass mad that after me responding to like five minutes of your content, you got to go live with a title like Expose Destiny, the racist gamer and the lie of homophobia. It's pretty clear that you're clout sharking, but I enjoy it. So here we are. Because you feel stupid right now because you didn't realize you're talking to a technologist. Long story short, I hosted a conference. I showed people how to create NFTs from scratch, from the command line, little buddy. From the and command line? Can you, no, can no, no, you no, tell no, me no, how? No, no, no. Is homophobia a real thing? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay, real quick. Let's help you out real quick. Yeah, help me, please. So... My technologist friend. <laughs> oh, hey, Marquette. All right, so I got um, the command prompt open. What <laughs> command do I have to put in to make an NFT? Because... <laughs> Exposed, Destiny the Racist Gamer, and the Lie of Homophobia. Destiny exposed himself as a racist and a hater of African American culture. We'll be dissecting the hateful psychology of this fellow. Important, he is invited to join my stream and debate live. Oh, <laughs> I'm invited! Live in five hours. Oh, well, I'm not doing anything tonight. He reacted to your content before. Thank Genome writes, debate destiny. That'd be my pleasure. In fact, if, if Destiny, Sharp, Abba, or Annalisa would like to show up, I'll absolutely provide them the link to join the call if any of them show up. This uh, session was listed with enough time in advance for any one of them to show up if they so chose, and they're all welcome. I'd be happy to debate destiny or anyone. Truth be told, there's not a single person you'd see on YouTube uh, that would survive at any level. Not a single person. Like, not even close. That's what I'm saying. It wouldn't even be close. It'd be like Michael Jordan playing the worst kid in high school. Uh, anyways, thank Genome writes, debate destiny. That'd be my pleasure. In Okay. Hold on, sorry. We're getting an August clip coming through. I'm tripping right now because we're two hours in, right? And there's still another hour, 40 minutes. Like, good Lord. That is unnecessarily long. And here's the funny thing. No one's made a penny from the whole thing except the, the bisexual white dude who's been playing video games the whole time. How ironic. Everyone else been pouring out their passion, their arguments, their solution, their thinking. And the, the gay white dude playing the video games is making the bag. Hey, he, look, he might not know how to live his life in terms of morals, but he knows how to get to the bag. Shout out to him, because he didn't use these dogs like the dogs that they are. Good Lord. And I'm losing my hope and faith. No, I, listen, I didn't vouch for him. It's getting bad. I'm trying to get, it's there's got to be bad. better black men in the community. But why are we? Wow. We got a, we have a guy who's not even a, a stand up white guy talking about there has to be better black men. Hold on, my boy. First off, why don't you figure out what you're supposed to be as a man? Figure that out before you start assessing any other man. Because last I heard, men don't take it up the backside, bruh. Women don't e aren't even supposed to be taking it up the backside the way you're doing it, bruh. So now nah, I'm going to need you to stop judging. And it's ironic because he doesn't want to be judged, yet he's over here judging. That's curious. That's fascinating. Oh, God, the projection. Oof, this is going to be brutal. And just side note, if you if you didn't think the LGBTQ mafia hates black people and black culture, they absolutely do. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Because remember, hip hop culture is uh, one very much so an expression of the African American culture. African Americans have had the highest levels of religiosity in America, and along with that has come the rebuke of that lifestyle. And so, very much so, the LGBTQ has tried to you know break the African American male the African-American male culture, which is largely embedded in hip-hop music. Um, and so they've been trying to feminize. I'm tripping right now. Jesus. It'll be good because she's in, you're in graduate school right now? Uh, yes. Okay, so she's in graduate school. So she is, by all accounts, an academic and theoretically should be a rational person able to <laughs> analyze uh -oh. information and think in a linear way. He talks shit about you, Har. Oh, we got another clip coming through. Looking at appearance as a metric, I'm going to go ahead and say she's way out of your league, little buddy. Your arm looks like a, a plastic bag filled with water. Doesn't it make sense that she's out of my league, though? Isn't that what all these like red pill dudes talk about? Like all you technically need is money and clout, and that's how you're supposed to be doing it, right? Like, doesn't it make sense from your world? Uh, you look like you've never lifted a weight in your life. 
Your style is terrible. What's this guy lifting? Where are his gym vids? I want to see the, I want to see his lifts. Post them. <laughs> your hair is disheveled. You have no, I, uh, I don't go for the bald junk. The jawline and your beard is only making that reality worse. Uh, you have no sense of charm, no personality. I don't know how you've amassed a following on YouTube, but hey, there's a lot of people who just spend their day at home on Pornhub and playing video games. And I guess the, these are your people. This is your tribe. Um, and the curious thing, too, is if I understand rightly, he's the famous YouTuber and she's just some broad. So from a strategic standpoint, I wouldn't want to be sitting off to the side. I'd want that center seat because I'm like the main guest, the guest of honor. Um, uh, that's kind of weird to me. You kind of got sidelined for a broad who's like pretty much nobody, but hey, it gets like that. I feel like a real woman, especially if she's your woman, would have said, hey, boss, yeah, you sit in the middle. You're the guest of honor. You're the big homie. But uh, I have a sense she doesn't look at him as the big homie, and we gonna get to the bottom of that. Carrying on to the next clip, and, and shout out again to those who support the work. Uh, we got a clip from someone I find uh, personally to be very entertaining, even though they were exposed from being for being what is called a homo predator. <laughs> hey, I'm not. Hey, I'm just. I'm just saying what the guys I interviewed said. They called the man a homo predator. We talking about yours truly, Jesse Lee Peterson, the guy who finds everything amazing and loves the blats. Now he's interviewing this sloppy fellow again. Goodness, and oh, is this guy wearing tie dye? Liberals love tie dye. I can't even lie. I even got some tie dye myself. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> okay. Holy shit. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a convo. Saint talking about you in the comments for Slime Thanks for this up. We all know he'll not show up, but we know that a gamer has plenty of free time, but we know his fans have notified him. He's so like hungry for that he's hungry for that clout. I'll give it to him, dude. Don't worry, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere today. Hey there, Destiny, how are you? Hey, pretty good. Were you talking about my school? Is that what was going on in here? We're just warming up. We wanted to get some background on you because there was a funny thing going on on the internet. What's your fanatics, they, they deluded themselves into thinking that you're brighter than you are. You see, because you have a history of de debating internet personalities who probably similar to yourself, lack experience and sophistication. And so now you're about to get exposed. And I said, you know, before we go in, let's take a little bit of background on who the guy is. And we saw in your own bio, you're making excuses for why you didn't complete a basic degree, a very easy degree at a third tier university. Uh, <laughs> Ring's moving slow. He's befuddled already. He's befuddled. Yeah, okay, here. So tell, tell, wait, just real quick, Chief. Okay, what kind of convo do you want to have here? Do you, Throw so a lifeline. Let's do two things. Number yeah. one, let's go through and start with a little bit of interview so we can get familiar with you. Yeah, go right, for so it. Okay. We'll, we'll share a couple of questions, get familiar with you. Uh huh. And then we'll do the thing that you did on your stream, which is you played my content at length. So we'll play a couple of clips of yours and then we'll, we'll discuss it and, and react to it. And then if you want to get into any other political items, we can do that. But you'll notice that the title of this stream is twofold. Uh, number one, it states that you're racist. And the funny thing is I almost never use this term. I think it's overused and mostly people are lying and they're using that as an excuse to explain why they personally are losers. But in your case, you expose yourself. So we'll, we'll review that piece. And then there's a, a second thing you did, which is an abuse of language. And I find it to be very disgusting and dangerous. Mm -hmm. And you use this term homophobia, which actually doesn't really exist in real life. It's something that the left often does. You guys like to create words. And then you like to instrumentalize words and also pseudoscience to achieve your ends. And so we're gonna discuss this concept of homophobia. And then, you know, if you wanna add on anything on the back end, oh, fantastic. How's that sound? Uh, it sounds good. I'm used to really emotional people lashing out, calling me racist, and I'm used to really emotional people being homophobic when they have nothing else to say. So yeah, uh -huh, wherever you wanna go, we can go, we can go wherever you want. What, what uh, I'm curious on the school thing. Wait, so why do you think I quit school? You wrote that you quit school and your website, let's, let's confirm, your website is destiny.gg, is that you? That's me. Okay. And your website, it reads, quote, I went to the University of Nebraska at Omaha. And before we carry on, we're both clear that this is a third tier university. This is a very low ranking university, right? It's, my, it's a state school in my, yeah, state. I didn't have money to go to private school. 
can we just keep it real and say that this is like shitville university can we just like not lie about that or are we going to pretend well no so i would say to people that i highly recommend going to state schools if they serve the purpose that you have i think it's really stupid is to take on a whole bunch of well excuse me sir let me finish let me let me finish my answer right I recommend people do state schools because why would I, I go to a university? You saying, can we agree that why it's would a low-tier university? Yeah, it's a low-tier university, but I'm going for a music degree. Well, there's no point unless I'm going to Berkeley or Juilliard. It's not going to matter as long as the studio is good. It really doesn't matter what school you go to, right? You understand that like a music performance degree from another state school doesn't matter. For music performance, no, actually, the only thing that matters. Matter you go to school. That's why, like for example, Barack Obama went to Harvard. That helped him a great deal in pursuing the presidency. Do you so think? Do you think that? Do you think that? Do you th do you think that the school that you graduate from? Indicate your pedigree. Well, I'm just curious. Do you think the school you graduate from with a music performance degree? Do you think that's going to mean anything when you go to apply well, for? Well, don't change the subject. Just well, no, no. I'm just. I'm asking you. I'm just. I just want to. I just want to hear. Are we wait? Are we here to have a conversation? You're just trying to do a hit piece, dude. One second, my dear boy. I just want to see if you're living on the planet Earth. You well, see, no, no. I, and I and I'm trying to have a conversation with you, but you're, you're just trying to do emotional. a hit piece. Oh, no, I'm not emotional. emotional at all. But I'm not going to sit here and let you like drag no, me around in the conversation if you don't have a real talk. It's okay to acknowledge that it's going to be a boring talk. Oh. It could be an, it could be it could actually be entertaining and engaging too. Like we have the ability right now to have an I'm interesting talk. Calm down. Calm I'm super down. calm right now, dude. I don't know if you know what it sounds like when somebody's excited, but this ain't it. Calm down, calm down. Just relax real quick. I'm just asking you uh -huh. to find out if you're on planet Earth. You I'm definitely on planet Earth. Earth. Yeah, for sure. Say you asked me, you said Marquette. You uh -huh. went to if I were you, you yeah. said Marquette. You went to University of Nebraska at yeah. Omaha. Uh -huh. Is that a low tier university? I would say it absolutely is a low tier university. It's very clear by the rankings on US uh, News and World Report. It's clearly low tier and I went there to save money or I went there because of this. But I wouldn't start giving long verbose explanations because that's just an indicator of insecurity. And what's more, you shouldn't try to defend it because you didn't even get a degree. You dropped out. You're a college dropout. So just say that I dropped out. I couldn't I couldn't hack it. That's that's all I'm saying. So like you don't have to get angry and defensive. OK, sure. So the, the actual answer is that like different universities are good for different purposes for a music performance degree. As long as the studio is good, you go to the studio in terms of overall rankings of university. Yeah, it's probably a really low ranked university. It's the Thank UNO. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. But well, I'm not going to pay out the ass to go to a state school uh, or I'd say go to like a private school somewhere else. Yeah. But what's that your what's your longest, um, what's your longest possible explanation? To dog, simply do you have any idea how insecure you have to be to look up the that's ranking the longest, of the school that the I went to? Possible explanation you could ever gotcha. give to someone okay. saying, "Can you agree that it's a all right?" Go for university. it. What's your tell me, hit me up with your next question, dude? To do a test to see if we're on planet Earth together. But you you're defensive and you're insecure. Gotcha. You see, Achilles says, "Finally, took him five minutes to answer that." Right? I asked you a simple yes or no question, and then you got to give me a long story. Well, I'm not going to let you jerk scary. me around in the conversation, right? Like, what, what would oh, be? Oh, please, please, please! No, not the sexual stuff. Come on, man! Like Ooh, it's early. Yikes, bro! Yikes, that. dude! You think about other dudes' dicks more than we I do. That's that really. Yet weird we but that if that's like if that's how you swing bro that's cool i've seen so, a lot of homophobic people that secretly want to yeah. suck a dick and if that's what you're after i man, hear you it's po if cool. possible if we could try to avoid using that word okay as long as you stop making the sexual sexual jokes i'm cool for it too all right um i actually didn't you're the first person to say anything that was homoerotic but but that's fine that's fine if that if that eroticized you might do that says way more about you than it does about me there but go. keep going okay. anyways on your, good. I on, see your bio, yeah. on your bio on your website it uh -huh. reads i went to the university of nebraska at omaha and majored in music performance, but eventually dropped out due to conflict with work at the time. I feel like that's one of those things where I'm like, bro, like, first off, if you didn't get a degree, there's no need to even list that. That's like me saying, like, I went to the mall, walked in the Gucci store and left. It's like, you didn't buy anything while you were there. That doesn't need to be a part of the narrative. It's almost like irrelevant. Do you think I, think I didn't take any classes while I was at, wait, some do you think I didn't take any classes at school? What's that? Do you think I didn't take any classes while I was there? You don't go on LinkedIn and list a school with an incomplete degree. I'm not on, that's not, a, wait, wait, hold on, I'm sorry. Is my website Number LinkedIn? Number one. Wait, no, no, I'm just a question, just a question. Is my, is my website LinkedIn? The reason is my website LinkedIn is my website LinkedIn. Can you answer a single question I'm going to ask you? Or do you really just do this steamroll bullshit on every guest you bring on so you can like look good? I know you're hungry for my clout, so I know you want me to stay here. OK, so let me ask you. I'm just asking you a question. Is my website LinkedIn? Destiny. That's a super easy yes or no question. 
is my website linkedin is my website is my website linkedin i just want to establish who you really are before we get going Let, let's establish who you really are you don't have to hide from like for example let's look at it on the other side well, no no no, no, no. How, about, me, how about how about how about this 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 you said to me marquette did yeah. you go to berkeley and get a degree i would say sir i did that in three years yes i did if you said then did you go to johns hopkins university and take a master's degree while working full-time i say yes that's correct so it's like the same thing i wouldn't have like a long story i just say yes that's correct or no that's incorrect so the question is why when we're verifying yours like you're getting all defensive okay is my website linkedin why are you getting so defensive i'm not defensive you're asking, you're asking asked me you're reading right my you biography my website, LinkedIn, you're reading so you're my website everyone knows the answer listen to. chief if the you go to listen if you go to my wikipedia page why? if you go to my wikipedia page it says uno on it ask them why they include it i don't know some people We're like to know what you, what you did so, Stop yeah. with the red hair what i did Stop was people distract. ask me what is my education what is my educational background i did some college and i wrote where i went to college i didn't say i have a degree very good very good. Now, truth be told, <laughs> yeah. did you fail to complete your degree because of school or because you're a screw up? Uh, did, you, did you fail to complete your degree because of work or because you're a screw up? I mean, I probably could have tried harder to do both, I guess. You guess. So I'm asking you straight, like, was it work or are you a screw up? Well, I don't think it was possible to finish that degree in four or five years while working overnight and providing for myself. I don't think it was possible for me to do it. Okay, so your story, I just wanna make sure I understand. Mm -hmm. So your narrative is that you as a, a young white kid enrolled, did you have any kids or like, do you have any children you're providing uh, for? I have one, but not at the time, no. I said at that time, are you paying attention, my dear boy? I'm I said, paying at attention, time, dog, this is super cringe. If you want me to stay, I just need you to turn the cringe down like at least like five points. You're did you have any so children So aggressive, I didn't have any children at the time, no. Okay. So I'm just trying to establish who you are, right? You're so not, you're I, trying to railroad a narrative of me to like no, 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 yeah, no. poison the well in front of your audience. Like, uh -huh. I'm not, no, 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 we're gonna get into it. We're just establishing who you are because okay. the internet is filled with charlatans. You're uh -huh. one of them. I am, yeah. And yeah, you're absolutely one of them. And I want it to be clear. And that's what we're agreeing on okay. the fact. There's a reason why I've been, been here for 12 years and you're gonna be gone in two, but okay, Mr. Charlatan Exposer, go ahead, tell me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So your story is that you didn't have any kids mm -hmm. you're a young white kid in university and you couldn't complete university because you were working a job that's, that's your story it. that's my story good job nice you can read i guess you learned that at johns hopkins huh getting that master's degree got you got you i see so i just want to okay so now we have that mm -hmm. you, you went to university and basically dropped out and you have this long story about oh it, i had to have a job it's not really a long story it's like one sentence long maybe that's long for you i don't know maybe you're not a great reader i guess i don't know maybe you need to go for the phd instead but yeah, it's perhaps. not that long it perhaps. seemed like you read it pretty quickly and then in terms you know, i'm just going through your website real quick because i want to have some that's background good. cool you can go through my wikipedia as well i have one of those you know if that's uh, that makes so, you more impressed you know no, I looked no, for yours and I couldn't find one, so, you know, but. Who you are. I can see that you're very proud of Internet Cloud. We're going to clarify uh -huh. all of that. Well, I'm not just proud of Internet Cloud. I mean, I have a big bank account, too. I mean, what, what do you want to compare? I mean, yeah. you can do whatever you, you want. We can compare bank accounts. Uh -huh. You see, you haven't done your research clearly. You see, you're one of those goofballs that you think the Internet is everything. I'll give you a, a quick uh -huh. example real quick of how I look at you. Gotcha. This is how Go I look it. at you. Okay. So I, I have a, a buddy of mine is Michael Bloomberg, right? I have more YouTube. <laughs> I'm sure you do, man. Right? I, I just YouTube got off the phone with my friend Max Soros Bloomberg. and he told me all about you. So don't worry. I know what's up here. Okay. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. So I have more YouTube subscribers than Michael Bloomberg. Right. Mm -hmm. But Michael Bloomberg is way more important than me in real life. Mm -hmm. And in real life, it turns out that like that's the real measure. Yeah. But Michael so, Bloomberg's not begging for my clout on his like failed YouTube channel. So I think that's so the difference between you yeah. and Bloomberg there. But go oh, ahead. Hold on one second, my dear also, boy. Michael Bloomberg also you're, has a Wikipedia article. So hurt. technically, I've got Why more in so common with him right? than you do. So, but, you know. Why are you so angry? How, I'm not I'm angry at all, dude. Why do you think I'm angry? Do you think if you just keep saying you're angry, you think you can empath that into my brain? about people like you it's the dishonesty that yeah, gets tell me. me i'm so dishonest you that's why my whole life story is on my website my hold dude on one second. tell hold me one how second. tell me how dishonest i am i got all the seconds in the world my dude you take all the time to go through my clips before you played my clip on your channel i'd never heard of you bruv i this still haven't heard of you i still have no idea channel. who the f you and are the today, only reason i've played anything of your channel is because a woman messaged me i had a conversation with her and then i watched her on your show you have to over talk Oh, okay, go for it. If I have a chance to respond, go for it. Yeah, absolutely you will. Absolutely. It's just that you just lied and you claimed that someone's using you for clout when last I checked, you made a live stream and you brought my clip on there. And then you did a second live stream, live stream and you watched my clip at length. 
So you brought me into the situation. I didn't bring you into the situation. So don't lie about that. Now, now the floor is yours to respond directly to you claiming I'm using you for clout when you brought me onto your stream twice by a video and that length the second time. Feel free to respond to that. Gotcha. So I still don't know who you are. By the time this conversation is over, I'm not going to know who you are because you are nobody. The only reason why your clip was on my stream is because a lovely young lady came and talked to me about some racial related issues. And then somebody pointed out that she was also on your show. So I watched that show for her appearance on there. I don't know who you are. I know who she is. And I watched a couple segments from that. And that's the extent to how I'm familiar with your content. Did you actually address the question? I see you're having trouble focusing. So the thing that you said was, I actually wrote them down because I know people like you have trouble focusing. So you said you brought my clip and then I watched the live stream at length and I didn't bring you into the situation. I responded to all three of those points directly by saying that the only clips that I watched had the lady on my stream that was on your show. And that's the only reason I watched those clips. Is there some part of that that you didn't understand? So the point was this. I'll help you out. The point was this. I, I don't need any help. I just need you, you to enunciate, an like actually like stop, verbalize stop your thoughts. Yeah, you, go for you it. Just, you completed your response. Okay. The point was this, that you made an accusation that I was pursuing you for clout. When the opposite is true, you brought me onto your stream two times and the second time you played my clip at length, which is to say when you bring up me in conversation, then you've now engaged uh, interaction. So you're being dishonest to suggest that for some reason I came out of nowhere to try to utilize you for clout. Because truth be told, I clearly don't respect you. And there's no reason to respect you. We're gonna go through all of the points as to why you deserve no respect, okay? Okay, so the first time I watched, it was because my friend was on your stream. The second time was because oh, you were making friend? a response. Oh, well, excuse me, sir, can I finish my response? The second mm -hmm. time was because you were watching me, so I decided to watch and respond. And the third thing is, is that when you are so ass mad that after me responding to like five minutes of your content, you gotta go live with a title like Expose Destiny, the racist gamer and the lie of homophobia, it's pretty clear that you're clout sharking. But I enjoy it, so here we are. Ah, I see, I see. So why would I be chasing clout? Tell me more about that one. Uh, you're looking for those YouTube subs. YouTube subs. Mm -hmm. how, how does that make me money? How does it make you money? I don't know. Everybody, it's not usually about the money. Usually people want influence and more subs is more viewers is more influence. There's a reason uh, why you're probably not happy with the 10K viewers per video you get. It's my guess. Uh, I see. I see. I see. So right now you're making a lot of assumptions and they happen to all be wrong and have no foundation and evidence. You're, you're guessing. It's a supposition. So we'll just skip that because it's irrelevant because it doesn't want to be Because it's true important. and everybody can see it, but that's fine. We can skip that. Marie said, what a scrub dude didn't even go to Creighton. Artist said, roast this piece to the saints. Yeah, yeah. Solon said, peace to the saints. The big homie's going to give him the business. Hope people will learn from this. Now he has to give the clown the sledgehammer. Carry on, you know. And another thing I noticed about your personal life, and I think it's important to know who the speaker is. Uh -huh. And I'm sharing this with you right now so that you can correct it if it's incorrect, because of course you know yourself. So in your personal life, you my understanding is that you got married and then you got divorced. And you had a child with the first woman you got divorced from and then you got with another woman. Like, would you break that all down for us real quick? No, I don't really think I need to break down my personal life. I don't know how it's relevant to this conversation. I'm good on that. I'll tell you why it is relevant. Okay, I'll tell, tell you why me, go ahead. Relevant. Because when you're talking about, well, number one, when you're out in front as a leader, you should have merit and you should have traits that are admirable. That's number one. Especially when you're getting into politics, you're getting on the side of lobbying. Yes, for sure. It's important to know who you are. And that's why every time someone steps out front, they're stepping under a microscope. Now, in your case, you're an individual who's divorced. You're an individual who has a child that's being raised essentially not by you. And you're now in an open, what you call a marriage, but it's certainly not a marriage. That's an abuse of the term. And this is why we should give out civil unions uh, to more people, especially those who have alternative uh, you know, practices. But you are in a situation where you've had a series of very unfortunate relationships. And this is important to know about you. Uh, so if I am a leader, I will showcase the traits that I think are admirable. I think I've accomplished quite a bit in my life, given the background that I come from. 
I do not need to throw up every part of my personal life for random clout sharks like you on a show. If you wanna know more about my personal life, you're welcome to visit my YouTube channel, my Wikipedia, or you can come to my stream and ask questions in my chat like every other subscriber does. And in terms of a series of unfortunate relationships, I'm pretty happy with how my life has turned out. I'm pretty happy where I'm at right now, and I'm pretty happy with my Ooh. current relationships right now. So, but also again, I, to be clear, I don't feel the need to, to allow a stranger like you to go through my life with a fine tooth comb. That's really f***ing weird. Well, there's no need to curse. I don't, I don't know if you're getting angry about this, but you know, your child, for example, would be in a better situation if they're being raised by their two biological parents. All the data indicates such. And these are the things that we're pointing out. It's indication of mistakes in your life. It's not that people don't make mistakes. It's just that if you're going to step out and be hypercritical of other people, uh, then you probably want to kind of be a little bit more together. And do, you think you're that, one of those... do you think that you have to have a perfect life to be critical of other people? I did not say that. I actually just said the opposite. I said that people make mistakes, but I said you should be a little more together if you were paying attention. Okay, so I'm just curious. Are you ever going to answer a question I ask, or is it always the games with you? What is your question? So my question was, is do you have to be a perfect person to be critical of other people? I just stated, and I'll, I'll repeat it, and then I'll re-answer it again. So I'll answer it three times total. You said, do you have to be a per... Oh, uh-oh. Did his connection just die? Oh, fuck, this is gonna be like an Alex Stein tier conversation with this dude. I was hoping he would at least be able to do like a back and forth, but it's just like the, he's like a younger version of Jesse Lee Peterson, except he probably doesn't have like a stroke or two in his medical history to justify how absolutely brain dead he is. <laughs> or incapable of engaging. Oh, how disappointing. But I guess there's a reason why, right? There's like a prerequisite like threshold for IQ that you can have in order to even be engaged in these communities right like typically at like 105 most of them are going to bleed out by the time they're 22 like there's no way that you stay in like a mind rock community this long although this guy's story is exceptional because if you watch the past videos at one point in his life he was like a pretty smart dude that's like the thing that blows my mind the most is that when you when you watch where he comes from because i was expecting to dig into this dude's background he's like a total moron but he's not he's actually like pretty smart like he was i watched him talk to other people where he seemed smart he was in business seemed smart i don't know if it's like a grift that he does on um i don't know if it's a grift that he does on um on his show just to like earn money from like random suckers on youtube or what but <clears throat> i hope that at least his audience can recognize it like if somebody wants to have a talk with me you can go on my youtube channel like i'll engage back and forth with anybody and it's not going to be like a uh, it's not going to be like a 15 minute conversation or like well didn't you go to school and drop out well didn't you get divorced blah 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 like, oh shit oh hey Sorry, you're back what's up brother how you doing <laughs> we we certainly are not brothers um but please forgive me my internet went out you had asked me a question before we went yeah i was off. just curious do you think you need to be perfect to criticize other people well firstly i don't think criticizing other people I think you're probably more rightly thinking individuals. In the case of your racism, you were criticizing a people, and we'll get to that later. But to be critical of individuals, I think that's really useless. But to be critical of people's ideas and their life ways, I think it's certainly appropriate that you be someone who is an example. And this is why we don't like to see hypocrisy in religious leaders, because we expect them at some level to, to walk a straight path. So the answer is that you are not ever going to be perfect, but you mm -hmm. should be a better example. And in your case, having an ex-wife being a divorcee, uh, having a child that you're not raising in your home with that biological mother mm -hmm. and being in an open relationship, I think it's an abomination, not to mention your sexual practices. Okay, so can you give me an example of one piece of advice I've given that you think is inappropriate for me to speak on? Just one piece so, of thing, something where I've said in your life. I, hmm. I appreciate your question. Um, real quick, I'm going to uh, read this one by uh, Jabrizi and, and all of the folks, your fans included, feel free to send in any questions because I, I do want them to be able to ask us questions and engage. Well, they can me. always super chat it to me. They don't have to ship you money, but I'm glad that you're um, really excited to get to Jabrizi, <laughs> he writes, I got way more views than Destiny and I can tell you, you don't need to be a stand up guy to get viewers, clearly, but play to the popular narrative or make content that confirms people's biases. Oh, indeed. And, and the funny thing about you is like you're irrelevant in the real world. And for some reason, being a video game player uh, and having internet clout makes you think that you're cool. And the, the even more curious thing about you that I, I really find entertaining and quite petty 
uh, is that you're re you're not going to answer my question? Me. He's actually not going to answer my question. He just skipped it completely. You're looking at me and seeing that you're inferior. You you go to the one thing that you think. All you right, have, I'm gonna. I'll ask it again. I guess. I think he was googling directed by Debreezy when that super chat was read. So yeah. on that one account, Debreezy has 2.45 million subscribers, and he has other YouTube accounts as well. Right. Um, I did want to. Play. Okay, just so you know, I'm going to ask you the same question again, like when you're done. I'm not going to engage with anything until you actually answer my question. Well, we're, we're here interviewing you at the beginning. You said, what would you like to do? And I said, we're going to start with an interview of you. OK, it's wait, so then let me understand. I'll just ask and that. Then so am I am I not allowed to ask any question or respond? Just tell me and I can leave already, now. You're already being dishonest because you already asked me a question and I answered it three times. OK, so then can I ask? So then when you're so making assertions about my character, can I ask you a question? Relax one second. It's well, no, no, I'm not. No, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to be your dog, my dude. You're you're having trouble on the hot seat right now. You're trying your best to change the narrative, and you're also okay. lying. Well, I hope that I'm your fans lying. can see that you are unwilling you or unable to engage with a single question that I ask. And I guess the strategy is just the false bravado really? of an insecure little man that just screams really? at an opponent and tries to character assassinate until they, I guess, no, what, no, get them not, to leave I'm the interview. One thing about you that was a lie. We're talking. You think that you think that character assassination is only a lie? Is that the truth? Do you think that's true right there? Why does the truth bother you? I never said the truth bothered me. Really? are bothered. I never said the truth bothered me at all. Well, then why are you so amped up? If someone was asking me, Mark Platt. My only question to you was, is there, a, is, there a, is, there a, is there a singular piece of advice that I've given that my life experience precludes me from speaking on? I just want to know. I'm just curious. Why are you so bothered for people to know what you're about? How can you say that I'm bothered for people to know what I'm about when you're reading this information off of my website that I chose to put on there? You say your world is kind of falling dude, apart? If dude. you want to know anything about me, it's on my Wikipedia, it's on my website, it's on my YouTube videos, my dude. Mm -hmm. The only reason you know anything about me is because I've chosen to put it out there. So I'll repeat again for the sixth time. I don't know how many times you got to do it for the Johns Hopkins kid, but why yeah. is it? What, what is a piece of advice that I've given that you think I can't give because of my life experience? Can you tell me this? One? that? Okay, here, here, go I got ahead. an answer. Okay. Oh, cool, thank you. you. It only took six times. Okay, go for it. Here we go, here we go. You said, what's a piece of advice that you shouldn't be giving, right? Yeah. Based on your experience, and experience is like kind of like what you do, right? Mm -hmm. So here, here's one. I, mean, I want to make sure. Oh, you're just going to play a YouTube clip. Damn, you really can't engage at all. Holy no, it's shit. for you. It, it's it's of you. So it's of you. So oh, so just check this out. Man. How disappointing. Out. Yeah. And this one points out a couple interesting things. I just like to use primary sources here. Mm -hmm. His values, consistency of values, has outright been caught out as, as a hypocrite by himself. himself. He, he just did it on his own. All because of, of NFTs. NFTs. Now, now this, this was what every one of them. them. Jesus. Wait, so so this is some advice you're about, about to give right here. Mm -hmm. so every, every single person on the internet. Every single person on the internet, okay? That is pushing NFTs is trying to find a bigger sucker. That's, That's it. That's, it. That's, That's all, all it is. is. Every, every one, one of them. them. Basically, I consider that all of them. Crypto is too, man. There's people who never talked about about crypto. I know. Like, I wish there was like a big macro. There needs to be a macro accounting of human behavior because we all grow up making fun of certain people, and then we all grow and we do that behavior. Okay, so now let me finish this point off. So number one, you were just on camera stating that people should not get nfts because it's a big scam so destiny just said nfts are a scam it's a ponzi scheme it's a pyramid scheme we're trying to find a bigger sucker it's a scam nfts are a scam so that's what he said now look at the same guy destiny here we go let's hear what he says now when he can make a buck off of it here, right when i grew up people made fun of motherfuckers that sold avon mary Kay, uh, amway but like bro on to his audience because why not? I, I think that the idea behind, behind this is you can basically buy and sell, or you can buy and sell like Twitch clips, and then you get an NFT that you can NFT, autograph okay. by the streamer who the clip is of. Oh my God. Did you know that? And 10% the revenue. Goes to the streamer. 10% okay. of the revenue goes to the streamer. There are other NFT legendary Twitch, Twitch clips out there. there. Okay. okay. Legendary Twitch, Twitch clips out there. And, and he just self self proclaim that he has legendary twitch clips so now let me summarize my answer to your question Go for your it. question was based on your experience what should you not be able to give advice about based on your experience we just observed you state out of your mouth that nfts are a scam 
Then we looked at a separate video clip where you realized that you could make money off of NFTs. So what did you do? You started scamming. And who just starts scamming? Your own fan base. So clip one, you're saying NFTs are a scam. Clip two, you're selling NFTs. Based on your experience, being a person who says don't do it, but then you do it because you can make money, you're someone who has no integrity. Hence, you should not be a leader and not be giving advice because you're clearly a money-hungry scammer. Is that an answer to your question? Uh, no, it really doesn't have anything to do with my life experience. But so let's talk about oh. NFTs. <laughs> well, it doesn't. You said you were gonna. You said you were gonna this use my good. life experience. Excuse me. I believe I'm allowed to answer. You said you were gonna use my this life experience to invalidate uh, advice that I was giving. That's not a life experience thing. But that's fine. Let's tangle with this. Let's deal with this. So let me ask you a question. Do you know what an NFT real is? Quick, real no, no, quick. no, 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 no. Hold on. You just want a whole spiel. This. You're not gonna. You you're not gonna engage. He's not. He's actually not gonna critically engage at all. He's just gonna play. He's just gonna play a chimp clip and then no, he's going to say that works. that's you say they're a scam yeah, so my well for, in order to have a conversation with you i need to make sure that you're intellectually equipped for it so Stop the first it. question Just is no no i need to know do you know what a, an nft is do you know what an nft is you peddling nfts okay so what's the difference between peddling what's the difference between you encouraging your fans to mm -hmm. send you money through the purchase of nfts versus just how everybody else goes about nfts mm -hmm. you're doing the ethical nft if you want to sell an nft to somebody and you advertise right. it as such this is an nft if you want in my case it was a clippable stream moment with some varying levels of rarity then you have the right to do that go for it but if you're trying to sell somebody an nft and say like bro buy this yeah. nft in like two months you're gonna get rich okay i'm selling this now for 10k you can so sell it's sell just it. the pro it's just the lack of prosperity gospel attached to it you understand this is so i'll go back to the beanie baby example do you think there's a difference between selling somebody a beanie baby saying hey here you go have fun with the collector or whatever versus selling somebody a beanie baby saying hey keep this in like five years it'll be worth 3x its value princess diana beanie baby dude it's gonna blow up in fact, I think it did, but like, I'm going to ask you the same question when you finish rambling. So go ahead. I just think it's, I just think it's, I don't know, man. I'm going to repeat the same question. So think about so, it. I know you're rambling oh, when, right out of things. So go for you, it. When you said before that it was a big scam and then you were just looking for suckers <laughs> to buy NFTs, like you think that now you're justified in doing that because you're not telling them that they can make money off of it. First of all, I'm not directly selling them the NFTs. Secondly, I'm not flipping it's it onto a them. third party that you're sponsored by? It's not like I hold the NFTs and I'm trying to set, unload it onto a bigger sucker. I'm pretty right, sure the, the first party you, origination you, is the eternal site. The problem is you, you I don't even know, think you know what NFTs are. So I'm gonna ask you the question again, what is the difference between an NFT and a Beanie Baby? Or do you think there's a difference between selling somebody a Beanie Baby saying, hey, here you go, collect it, maybe sell the future, versus selling somebody a Beanie Baby saying, hey, in like five years, this will be three exits value do you think there's a difference between that well i think one is a well when you tell someone that there's an ability for them to invest in something and then they do or do not make money on it that could be a bad thing true sure. i agree one million percent yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah and i think and that you, a lot of people that sell yeah. nfts do exactly that they say bro buy so this shit it's gonna doing... be worth mm -hmm. okay but so do you find the sale of nfts at all ethical yeah, sure. An NFT is a thing. You can buy and sell it if you want. Wild. Well, why just, do you think? Why do you think buying or selling an NFT? Moments. Wait, hold on. Okay. I need. I need to hear so you. I need to hear that, you explain this to me. Why do you think buying or selling an NFT is unethical? Why do I think buying or selling an NFT is unethical? Yeah. Because it's not. It's not a real thing. It's like a scam product. That well, how is it not a real long, thing? Can you explain on that? Money? What do you mean it's not a real thing? You know that a CS:GO skin is not a real thing. What do you mean by that? Right, a CSGO thing, I think you agree, is like a gamble loot box, though, that you disagree with and you wouldn't take mm -hmm. on sponsorship for, right? Do you think there's a difference between CSGO... Which, which, do you think there's a difference between CSGO skin gambling versus, like, a CSGO skin? I mean, it's the result of the other, so I, I, that's what I'm saying, like... No, wait, well, hold on. Do you... I just also, why, by the way, getting, for reference to my chat, skin? I told you guys, if anybody tried to bring this up, then nobody even knows what the fucking NFT is. This is why this is not the slam dunk. What are you dunk talking about? You're talking about think. I'm talking about <laughs> All of you, okay? All of you dipshits on my fucking Reddit, okay? I know you're watching. And you're always like, Destiny, people are going to bring up the NFT thing in the future, and it's going to be the easiest dunk of the world. No, it's not, you fucking morons. Nobody knows what the fucking NFT is. You really think somebody's going to be able to dunk on me on some shit where they don't even know what the fuck it is? Like, it's, that is like the easiest landmine like pitfalls in the entire world you would try to argue me about a technology you don't even know what it is are you serious you're gonna try to quote mine me and you don't have any understanding of any of the topics it's like that's like the easiest debate shit in the world like holy let me answer that you asked me a question yeah, i'm go gonna answer okay that. let me hear it 
first off, you clearly have no sense of my background. I could tell when you started mentioning bank account, number one. Yep. Then number two, what's my background? He's not answering. I Did you hear an answer to that? Did anybody say anything? One. No, don't don't talk. I'm talking right now. You asked me a question. Okay. I, oh, you do the ramble thing before you get to the answer. Okay, go for it. Now, uh-huh. I also hosted a conference. During my conferences, I teach people about entrepreneurship. Ooh, big mistake, but okay. Yeah. How to grow 100,000 sub YouTube channels. <laughs> Hold on one second. <laughs> yeah. Or Hold how to start second. failed startups like Fledge. How did that go? Why yeah. Keep interrupting. He's mad. I'm not mad. You asked me dude. a question, but you interrupt me. You're so okay. angry. Calm down. It's all right, man. I'm sorry. Calm down. Just let me answer the question. You don't got to get angry. Go yeah, it takes you see you people 10 minutes like you try to cut me off so the truth doesn't get out. You just asked me, do I know about NFTs? Now close your lips so I can answer your question. Because okay, you feel stupid right now because you didn't realize you're talking to a technologist. Okay, then let's see if you can answer the question. I'm excited, go ahead. Be silent so I can answer your question. Okay. And when it's your turn to talk, I will be silent out of respect. Go for it. Now, you clearly had no background. I'm helping you out with an answer. You asked, do I know what NFTs are? Not only do I know what NFTs are, was oh, he playing music right now? Oh, I'm just waiting for you. I, I was waiting for you to answer. You gonna you gonna say he's the answer? Triggered. He's he's truly triggered. Okay. No, that's cool. I'll I'll chill. I'll chill away. Go ahead. You hey, are. He can't even have a proper conversation. He's basically like storming off. This is what happens on Maury when they say you're not the father, and the chick just storm off. Wow. He's mad angry. He asked me a question. I didn't want to hear the answer. This you gonna t- were you gonna tell me what an NFT is? This guy's angry. Now listen. Go ahead. I had a conference here. Oh, he's and not. I during the conference. We show people exactly how to create NFTs from scratch. So I had my buddy. You don't have to be disrespectful just because you're angry about the fact that you were busted in a lie. Would you mind stop playing music? Were you going to tell me what an NFT is? Would you stop playing music and just listen to the answer? Because right now you're angry and now you're trying to distract. This is very petty. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Do any of, does any of his uh, followers want to get on and tell me how this is the rational great debater? Do you, do you have somebody That's Googling the answer? Is that debater. what you're waiting for? So this is, this is the okay. great so for the, for the people that don't know, right now what's happening is a this stall is a tactic. Debater. He probably has a friend who's movie. trying to Google he's what is an NFT so that he can give this some kind insane. of answer that sounds somewhat clear. But he doesn't insane. know. He has no idea what an NFT you're is. You're pathetic. This is what you are. You're pathetic. Long story short, I hosted a conference. I showed people how to create NFTs from scratch, from the command line, little buddy. From the and command line? Please, can you, can you interrupt, tell me how? Interrupt. I wonder how to don't create interrupt. an NFT from the and command line. Which command line? How to create NFTs from scratch. We also explain the business model behind NFTs. And then we also explain the scams going on with NFTs, which are what is perpetrated by you. The kind of people who say don't do it and then turn around and start selling them. You're the Kim Kardashian of that situation. You don't have the foggiest idea of what an NFT is or the underlying technology, yet you try to make a buck off of your following. And you are pathetic. That was you a whole pathetic. bunch of words. Okay, I'm so I'm curious. Does your answer, does your audience realize that you don't know what an NFT is? <laughs> do you real do you realize that you literally said NFTs are a scam and then turned around and started selling NFTs? Can you explain how that makes sense? I don't I can't talk to you unless I know that you know what you're talking you about. I don't know if you know it. what an NFT no, is. Please stop it. You you sound foolish. You do you, I you I'm the one that sounds foolish? You're here? talking to a technologist saying that I don't know what I'm NFTs talking are. to a scammer that pretends that he's an entrepreneur educator when the only money about. that you've made in your life is scamming other people that want to be startup business people. Why we saw a clip of you saying nfts are a scam and then we saw a clip of you selling nfts so i'm just letting explain. you know this conversation right now it's not moving forward until either one you hang up Can or you two you tell me what an nft is i want you to tell me what an nft is i want i want you to tell me what an nft is oh go ahead wow I'm waiting for you chief wow let's let's play back that clip of him <laughs> saying nfts are a scam and then he starts selling nfts oh yeah Let's play it back. We're just gonna and play clips of me all night. This is like a greatest hits of the Destiny stream shit. Okay. okay. This, this was, was what, what he first, first initially, initially said, said and his and take, his take on, NFTs on NFTs about five, five, four, five, four, five, five days, days ago. Every, every single, single person, person on the internet. On the internet. Every, every single, single person, person on the internet, okay? okay. That is pushing, is pushing NFTs, NFTs is just trying to find a bigger sucker. Every single person on the internet pushing NFTs is trying to find a bigger sucker. Every single person. Then let's see who's pushing NFTs. 
with a big smile on their face too, talking about that they can make money. Pay attention. Basically, Basically buy, buy and sell, buy and sell, sell like Twitch clips, clips, you get an, an NFT, NFT that you can get an autograph, autograph by, by the streamer. The streamer. Who the clip, who the clip is, is of? of. Oh, my oh my God! God. Did you know Did that? You know that? And ten percent of the revenue. Those those streamers. Streamers. Okay. okay. Now, oh, now. he's selling NFTs. Now let's go to the racism clip real quick. Let's go to. Wait the a second. You're clip. really not gonna tell me what. This one. You're not gonna this tell me. We, you're not gonna tell me what an NFT is. This is the most important. You're gonna go through that all of that. You're gonna tell me you're making NFTs on the command line. You're not gonna answer a single question. You're really not. All right. Here, here's the racism clip right here. Unbelievable. Now, guys this. And it's funny when you see a racist. Wait, liberal. did he mute me? Pretend as oh, shit. I think he muted me. Okay. I'm going to mute him until he unmutes me. When he unmutes me, he can like wave his hands or whatever, I guess. Because uh, I'm not going to play his shit for free on my stream, right? I charge people a lot of money to be on my stream if they want to, uh, <laughs> if they want free advertising. Just leave. His goal isn't to have a convo. Yeah, I know. I'm aware of that. Well, I didn't know it was going to be this bad, but holy shit. <clears throat> Go back to the, the car chase. Literally, literally. Okay, hold on. Well, they already got the dude. It's always this bad with losers like this. Not, not all of them. Like even most of like the red pill people aren't this bad. To be fair, Dustin admitted it was that he made. Well, no. Well, in order to have the conversation with a guy, like he has to know what an NFT is. If he doesn't even know what an NFT is, there's no way that. Like, I, I can't even begin to have the conversation. And I don't think he knows. I don't think he's an idea. This dude's a master's degree is in teaching, by the way, not education. When he says he's a master's, it means he was a classroom assistant for a year. He wasn't writing a thesis or anything of that manner. Oh, shit. Things you, you should observe here. Number one. Oh, wait, is he, does he say I muted? said a number of things that he didn't respond to at all. Number one. Test, test. I said a number of things that he didn't respond to. Okay. I said he's playing video games and Don't disrespect him, he's a technologist. He's memeing you, he still can't answer a question. AI is never going to. Why does merely possessing the faculty for conscience give moral worth? Why not wait until the actualization of those faculties? What, like for people like this? Get a whiteboard so you can hold up meme signs. <laughs> The strategy is spamming, what is an NFT? I want to know what an NFT, I want to know. Can you guys ask him? I want to know, what is an he NFT? I know how to live his life in terms of morals, but he knows how to get to the bag. Shout out to him. Is he who is this degenerate f***ing loser? If so real. first off, let, let's see the first thing he says is, who's this degenerate? Are you on he a stream? The term well, he's got me like in a stream yard, but he has me muted, so we're just. What would your defense have been to the argument that he was making? I've never said that there's no use case for NFTs. When I was saying that all NFTs are a scam, the conversation we were talking about were people that were buying and selling NFTs to get rich, especially in the context of Andy Milanakis and all of the people that are like making these NFTs, trying to trade them on Twitter and shit. There are like, because the thing is, if you've listened to my stream, me and Dan have talked about legitimate uses for NFTs. They do exist, they're out there. Um, but like people like Clipchimp, like one thing, like, I've never in my life told somebody you're gonna get rich buying and selling NFTs, which was my original criticism of it. But it's extra annoying when there are people like this that wanna like go hard on the NFT thing. Um, and he, they just, they don't even know what an NFT is. Here's, you would be the actual definition of degenerate. So that's just a bit of ironic comedy from this guy. But let's get back to what else he says, because he was clearly very angry. It was an emotional outburst because he's name calling. I actually gave him a compliment. I said, hey, you're a real good hustler. You know how to earn money on the backs of other people. That's a compliment. Then he got angry, called me a degenerate and even called me a loser. And then he goes straight into racism. And I think this I feel like I I usually don't like to hit people here, too, but I don't think the guy I think the guy's probably poor as well. <laughs> the only people that I've ever seen that like do this shit like an entrepreneur, teacher, blah, 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 are usually people that are trying to make a quick buck scamming people. And it's not usually people that are pretty wealthy, but that's just my guess. I could be wrong, but. <clears throat> Start spamming, typing his YouTube chat too, just so his own audience knows you are still there. Oh. Well, I, can't, I don't spam audiences because that would be unethical. How do you let me know? One guy. In your own words, can you explain what an NFT is? I never cared to learn. Uh, it's kind of complicated, but I think essentially what an NFT is, is there's some 
every amount, every kind of data that you see on your screen is ultimately reducible to zeros and ones or some sort of, there is some sort of way that you can take all of the data and compress it using an algorithm to like move digits and, and pixels in different areas. And it's, it's called a hash, essentially. That's like the quick and dirty version of it. And an NFT is essentially like a, a demarcation, I think, on some kind of blockchain. I think it was usually on, um, uh, oh, what was the one Ethereum? I think is where a lot of NFTs were. So an NFT is like a is like a part of a blockchain where there is a hash there, and the owner of that hash is a person that is like has to be like a unique thing because everybody in that blockchain agrees essentially on what it is. Um, that's essentially what an NFT is. It's basically like a digital unique item, and the uniqueness is verified by whatever blockchain it's based off of. It doesn't have to be Ethereum. I think you can have NFTs from other blockchains, but they're generally from Ethereum. Um, but, I, but this guy has no idea. As soon as this guy said, you can build an NFT from the command line. <laughs> I don't think this guy has any idea what, I don't think he knows what he, oh shit, wait, am I muted? Hello? Is, is homophobia a real thing? Oh, I don't know, are you scared of me? It seems like you are, because you keep muting me. Is homophobia a real thing? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay, real quick, let's uh -huh. help you out real quick. Yeah, help me, please. So. My technologist friend. <laughs> Yeah, right. So words have ideology, right? And this is clearly one such word, homophobia. Let's begin with the term homophobia. Uh -huh. Phobia, the suffix phobia is a type of anxiety or disorder usually defined as a persistent fear of an object or situation. Uh -huh. Do you think that most people are scared or in fear of homosexuals? Do you believe that? Okay. When we talk about fear of homosexuals, can, can I ask you like a quick thing about that for the fear of homosexuals? So you're answering a question with a question. I'm well, yeah, but it's, it's related to it. I'm, yeah, but it's related. It's related to that. Help me answer. I'm just curious. Can you tell me what an NFT is? Like, can you explain it, please? <laughs> this is very good. This is very good. I like this. this I just want. I just need to hear you. I just need like to hear it. I want everyone to observe that they're observing right now. Thing. You're a technologist. Tell me, please. Is he's trying his best? He put me in the back. He put me backstage again. If this was a conversation about. <laughs> oh, shit. What's going on here? You know, well, there's a I'm talking to technologist, entrepreneur, uh, a star, the saint and the sinner, Johns Hopkins graduation ma master student. OK, talking to me, the lowly high uh, college dropout loser. What is he talking about when he references the command line? Uh, I don't know, PowerShell? <laughs> it's just a spooky tech word that he thinks he can use to scare me off because he thinks that I know as little about technology as he does. <laughs> I have no idea. This is a guy that unironically, if you were to stick him in a Vim terminal, he'd never find his way out. He actually cannot close Vim. He couldn't do it. He'd be lost in there forever, guys. Why are you trying to distract? You asked me at the beginning, what's it about? I said, we're gonna go through your background, uh -huh. then we're gonna go through your racism, and then we're gonna go through the lie of homophobia. Why can't you talk about that? Why are you trying to distract? I just wanted, scared? I wanted to talk about the NFT thing. You're scared. I'm, You're scared? I'm not scared. That's why I'm ready That's, to go head on with I'm any scared. of these. And I just want to say the funny thing about a guy like you Tell is that funny, yeah. they all were saying that you were going to be great at debating. Uh -huh. They said that you're going to be great at debating, but really all you do is red herrings. You know that red is, Red right? herring? I don't know what that yeah. means. Is that yeah, like a Native yeah, American yeah. insult or what? When you run away from the actual topic at hand. Oh, well, we were talking about NFTs and now it's you're running sad. away to the next, very you want to sad. talk about dicks and shit again. It's very you seem gayer than I am. Oh shit, he it's fucking muted sad. me. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Poor fella. Let's go back to him, here we go. <laughs> He's playing more of my clips. So this is what the guy. <laughs> I'm getting free advertising on this dude's stream. All right, we'll, we'll go ahead and just. We'll chill. What's, give me a, we need a key. I always play like, I feel like I'm always in like E flat, A flat. Uh, we can do E minor. Do you think he's pretending to his audience you're leaving on your own each time? Well, no, I think they can see when he puts me in the back room. I understand like the, oh shit. Ready to actually discuss like the topic at hand or are you like still trying to go back so that you could try to like, like win like a small battle that's irrelevant. Okay, I'm ready. I'm here to engage. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay. Go ahead. Like one time you're playing the, the piano and it's like sad, all the tactics are quite childish. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us why the over, like there's a disproportionate amount of pedophilia is homosexual in nature? 
I think that the issue is that the reason why a lot of homosexual people tend towards these behaviors has a lot to do with NFTs. And I have to know if you can describe an NFT to me if, in order for us to advance. Because if like, if you don't know how to describe an NFT, uh, you're a technologist, right? So you this should be- so sad. If you put me in the back room This again. is so sad. people come on though. Drop, drop the link in if one of his people want to, uh, want to come on. With camera on. Yeah, with camera on, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> okay, we'll get to us some chats. Yeah. He can't possibly think this right makes him look good, right? Well, so his interview strategy is like, basically the question is like, you railroad a certain number of questions and then that always leads to like your answer. But that's all, it's just a giant railroad. He's, unironically, he's Jesse Lee Peterson. That's what he's doing, it's the same thing. But like, we're just trying to figure out like, what's the most fun way to gonna like play back since obviously we're not here to have any real conversation. Which is unfortunate because there is an interesting conversation that could be had here, but. His whole thing is, you know what? Uh, I, I know what it's like to be a black man because, you know, after I finish having sex with a man, like, and I pull my penis out, it's brown just like yours. You know, I know what it's like to be a person of color. So, you know, Mr. Stinky Cock is over here acting like he is not a racist when in actual fact he clearly, clearly is and he hates African-American culture. And what's more, the left is so dishonest. We see them create terms like homophobia to confuse you and I. And they do many more things. Like for example, they're overly represented. They're only about 3% of the human population that self-identify around the world as homosexual or LGBTQ. Yet, we have the gay mafia pushing their agenda to everyone. And what he was failing to address, he tries to get comical when you ask him a real question. I said, well, why is it that mostly when child molestation occurs, it's a gay guy doing it? And most of the heroes in the LGBTQ, move, LGBTQ movement, for example, Harvey Milk, who's like the Martin Luther King of the LGBTQ, he's on record having had a pederasty relationship with a 16 year old boy. So we see that these types are very much so always into this situation. And you can see government studies where it states that 73% of adult male homosexuals say that they've had intercourse with a minor as an adult, which is to say a boy. And so when you ask someone, I saw someone in the chat, they said, well, what's the danger of homosexuality? Well, the danger is that they're, many of them are pedophiles, especially on the male side. And secondly, it's not even healthy. For example, studies also point out that males have incontinence in older age, which is to say they're they're crapping themselves because it's not how I should be going in. I'm sorry. Um, so we have Damo said, wow, shot of the saint, we going in. Joe sent a few super chats, it says classic shout begun. To Joe. Idris said the saint is the real deal. Charlie said, you're uh, Okay, well, we're gonna read this. You're sounding really insecure of winning this debate. You're making us on the right look really bad. <laughs> Are you telling me or Oh no, the psyops. Yeah, I'm not on the right. Pete sure. Crawley said, peace to the saints. Destiny will realize what real clout is at the end of this, hopefully. Yeah, no, the thing is like, he wants to distract and I, I won't let him distract. Like, he asks like silly questions. Like, what's an NFT? Like, that, that's just silly. Like. It's completely irrelevant to the conversation. And this is a debate tactic, right? Like if you put someone's feet to the fire, they're gonna try to go away from that and go to something irrelevant. And I'm not gonna let it happen. Absolutely not. Okay, on Cash Out, we have Adam said, peace to the saints. Gage said, peace to the saints tuition. Peace Jamal to the saints. Jamal said, for doing the Lord's work. In Justin a real way. said, warrior king activated, peace to the saints. In a Lamar real said, way. tuition, you're changing people's lives for the better. True. Jay Gustavo said, unleash all. Right. And, and the weird thing, too, is you have to ask yourself, what kind of guy who gets into a debate starts playing instruments while the debate is going just to distract and create chaos? It's a clear indication that they're trying to use strategies to gaslight or to inflame rather than engaging intellectually. When someone lacks the ability to engage intellectually, they have strategies. Like, this is not an NFT debate. So it's like, well, why keep asking? That's just silliness. It's theater. It's clear theater. It has nothing to do with the current topic. True. Okay, we have Justin Time says, he's not gonna unmute me. he said his name, he can't super chat. We'll look into that. Xavier said, killing him, peace to the saints. Colton said, he's racist. 
Skittle goes like nerds are getting out of hand. Indeed. Michael said, could I post some of your clips? Yeah, absolutely. True. And to the followers, please send stuff on Cash App and PayPal so I can actually see them. We have Anthony said, Anthony said, peace with the saints. I recently bagged this white girl. I piped first night and again after that. She comes from a wealthy family. I built up some rapport. I'm not sure how I have to go about getting funds from her. Any tips? Ah. <laughs> Uh, number one, you want to make sure that, you know, obviously there's a saintly thing to do and there's the sinner thing. You ask me how to do the wrong thing. I'm going to tell you the right way to do the wrong thing. So number one is you want to build rapport, obviously. Half Once you know step, that she's into step, you, half step, half then step. you set your standard and let her know nothing else will half do. Step, so the fact step. is she's going to give it to you if you demonstrate that there's need and you demonstrate that that's the standard expectation for her and she has it to give. Good luck with that. Hey, Jordan said, peace to weird, the saints. Thank you for showing how to be a real leader. Yeah, this guy's funny. I mean, just imagine like a grown man starts playing instruments while, while you're having a conversation. Hey, this dude is so fucking triggered right now. A leader, sir. Absolutely. Put him to rest. Absolutely. Joshua, though Joshua from the conference. I'm going to get a t-shirt that says, what is an NFT? As soon as I, like when the police pull me over, you've been speeding. What is an NFT? That's what the whole chat says. Like, they That's think silly. it's funny. It is funny. Joshua said $50. He said tuition. Shout out baller alert. Jelani said peace to the Saints tuition. Oh, yeah. And by the way, Josh was actually at the conference where we created yeah. NFTs. Jordan said <laughs> they the created NFTs at the conference. The conference. The oh, dude. Just somebody's got to fucking, somebody's got to link me a fucking video of hey. this dude's conference, please. Milken said, find it turbo weird him playing piano and not debating. Yeah, I mean, he, he can't win. That's the problem is that he's not able to win. So he's talking about irrelevant things. Now, here's the thing. I clearly showed two videos where he's a fraud. I said, he says, don't buy it. It's a fraud. Then he starts selling it. So he is a fraud. Then what does he do? He starts distracting rather than explaining. How do you flip flop from saying this is bad and then trying to make money off of it? And then he just starts with the nonsense. James. Okay, James. Jalen said peace to the Saints. This I'll is a headache. In Are you really going to engage in an international bad month? nonsense? James. Hey, Are you James. one of uh, Destiny's peace acolytes? Peace I'll practice. In Are you really going to engage in an international bad do you have a, can you pop in some headphones? I'll, I'll pop you back. I'll bring you back on when you uh, get some. Wait, can you hear? Okay, this guy's name is Destiny Fan One. So that's, that's good. So we, we know where he stands. Hey there, do you have something you'd like to bring up? Some uh, one second, hold on. I need to connect my AirPods so we don't have the same issue. Telling me to hold on, man. Audio. Hey there, you have something you want to bring up on uh, Destiny's behalf since he's not able to represent himself? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we were talking about, like, homophobia and things like that, right? Yeah, we're talking about the language of homophobia, yes. It's a misnomer. Yeah, well, I'm, you know, I feel like it's not the actual... Because, okay, so, like, I'm claustrophobic, right? So... You've been like diagnosed or you feel like you are claustrophobic? I don't, I don't really feel a, a need to get a definition because of how severe it is. Okay, but, all right. But I'm not, like, afraid of it. It just makes me uncomfortable and I tend to not put myself in the situations or I try to dodge it. Oh, dude, if this is an extended um, troll. You realize that a phobia is like a mental illness or a disorder. Oh, dude, if this is, oh my God, no, yeah, yeah, no yeah, yeah. way. Yeah, is yeah, he going to yeah. do it? No that, shot. He's not going to do there's it. No, there's no medicine for like to, to help with that. He's not going to do There's no medicine for arachnophobia either, right? The fear of spiders. No but the shot. point is that it's something that is diagnosable mm -hmm. and it's a real disorder. And there's actually a book with all of the known mental ailments, you know, and mm -hmm. experts have put this book together and they'll remove things out of the book when they've done a, a, a scientific paper that's peer reviewed yeah, and but researches. There's, there's, there's things like, go into the book and yeah, things yeah. come out of the book based on the experts agreeing that it's a real thing. So the term phobia is a medical diagnosis. It's not a colloquialism. So what I'm saying is that oh, this on, has been Brother politicized. You can do this. It's a misnomer that's used strategically for the advancement of the mm -hmm. leftist agenda. Do you understand? Yeah, that? yeah no, that's, that's a fair assessment. But yeah, I just- it's like an abusive language. I'm saying that the left often abuses language to take their Where's advantage. Where's the link? Oh, here for you example, they have I feel like it's gonna crash right all of you guys in, but- Gender from relationships, which is, fine if you're an lgbtq person but if you're a heterosexual person and 97 percent of human beings are practicing heterosexuality then that's not something that we need to have force on us 
Yeah, yeah. So I mean, but there's fears for there's like a phobia for basically everything. So there's like a phobia no, there's not for, like, a phobia for everything. There's like a phobia there's for like explanations. Book. There's like phobia for like explanations. So people will try to dodge explanations, kind of like you try to dodge the <laughs> NFT thing earlier. No, was that the actual point, or was the point of like were you scamming? Was the point of like were you? Scamming? So the point the point was is um <laughs> no really he, the point, he, he did really it he did it you, hey, man. he really <laughs> wanted he really wanted to catch you in a lie. So you tried you tried <laughs> skipping it. And to no, no, the next no. one. That's the problem is that I asked him if he was scamming. Because you still him. haven't answered yet. One you still haven't man. answered yet. <laughs> one second, man. I asked him if he was scamming. And to avoid saying yes, Marquette, I said, don't do it. It's bad. And then I turned around and tried to sell them. Oh, you know, Instead this of guy having is? to admit that, he starts going down the path of what is an NFT, which is going to get me to talk. No, we're not going to do that, gang. We're going to have you answer the question. Oh, kicked off. In here. here we go. Patrick, how are you? Patrick. Hey, how are you? What up, well. Patrick? Um, yeah, just sort of piggybacking off of the sort of homophobia discussion <laughs> that you're having. Um, would you say that it's sort of like an ideology instead of like an actual real thing? The word itself constitutes an ideology or those who use it? Yeah, th those who use it. They're sort of like trying to indoctrinate people into an ideology. So I think it's the most people who are using the word are just the followers. Mm -hmm. There were people who are a lot more intelligent than the followers who created a discourse, yeah. which is they've constructed language to push forward a given agenda. So they strategically define the word and now everyday folks are using it. For example, I know Christians and Muslims who instead of saying husband and wife, they say partner. The word partner has been a creation of that, you know, LGBT group, which is very <laughs> clever and has some of the best Oh no, load it up seen, guys. Uh, in the world. Load so, up. Dude, I want to make NFTs out of this people, fucking the, YouTube the channel. I don't want to sell it for $5,000. Yeah, they created it and everyone else is just following it. Yeah. And it's been pushed out. It's something that I've sort of noticed. It almost feels like a sort of like pyramid scheme where, you're, where like, for example, I got into Destiny because I had a really big fan of his as a friend. And so he sort of, he sort of introduced me to, to, you know, his ideology and all of that. And part of that was, you know, the homophobia and, and trying to indoctrinate me into it. And one, one way that he did it, it was like really subtle, but I didn't really think about it is, do you, do you know what boba tea is by chance? Yeah, I think it's a tea that has a large oh, straw and like balls at the bottom. Yeah, balls at the bottom. Exactly. And, <laughs> and so he was, in my mind, he was kind of trying to almost like turn me into like a sort of like, not to get into sort of red pill talking points, but like almost like a beta where he was like giving me tons of sugar because that's basically all boba tea is. It's just sugar, right. um, like balls at the bottom. And, and after thinking about it, I realized that he was trying to indoctrinate me into like the, the sort of like pro idea of homophobia as like an ideology instead of like trying to be like an actual friend and, and look out for me. And so I told him like, enough tea like enough tea oh, and like quick, nft like what is, an NFT? what is an nft real quick can you guys um stop trying to join the uh chat because it, it's it's full and it keeps on popping up in the other, so if you guys can remove uh stop trying to join it's kind of like blocking my view oh hey what's up <laughs> talk to me yeah I just wanted to say thank you for a, a lot of the work that you do actually on here because I used to be a Destiny fan, but I learned that it was actually kind of silly because that's actually a girl's name. So I don't like, I don't know, it seemed really feminine of him to like do that type of stuff okay, online. Okay. And I one really meme, think a lot meme. of the, like, the indoctrination that he does online is just really pathetic. I think it's really ridiculous. And he actually also doesn't know what an NFT is. So I was wondering if you could explain it to me. <laughs> these guys are awesome. I like these guys. I like these guys. <laughs> Talk to me. Oh, sh hey, Mark. All right, so I got um, the command prompt open. What <laughs> command do I have to put into me? <laughs> <laughs> because oh, so first, for example, for example, right, if you I got to C Solana. Do you know how to generate Solana? Solana? No. What, what command do I? Think? Oh, silly buddy. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. we got a black one. This is good. A black one. Yeah, yeah. What? Uh, Destiny does. I don't know. I mean, did you see the Jesse Lee Peterson interview? You had to be asked a lot if he liked black people. So. I'm sorry. I'm really starting to doubt if if, if he does. It's it, yeah. It, no, seriously. I've been watching him for a very long time, and I followed a lot of things from from his life. And now I'm actually really starting to doubt everything. So I don't know. But but you mentioned Solana, right? That you can generate. Uh... Yeah, generate Solana wallet. Do you not do that? <laughs> oh, damn, he actually dropped out. Oh, hello. Sorry, am I on? Yeah, you're on. Yeah, you're on. Oh, awesome. Hey, sorry. I have like no.
time for all these people who are like just trolling you and shit. Um, I, I wanted to ask you because I, I actually um, I went to Berkeley. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay, just to be clear, you're talking about like UC Berkeley, not like Berkeley College of Music, right? Because that's unfortunately I don't have any musical talent. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, because I mean, music school, like really. Um, I, I think like one thing I was kind of interested in because. Um, I did, I did economics. I'm not sure what your education is. I, I don't really know that much about you, so I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. What did you study? I'm just curious. Oh, I, oh, I thought you had it. Oh, your question is what did I study? He got a yeah, master, just, of, I, I, got a I, master I of arts ah, in like secondary education, by the way. I mean, Berkeley's a really good school. So I kind yeah, of I studied political that. science, which is honestly at Berkeley is the Berkeley School of Marx. It's not a degree that's of great use. And if I were to do it over again with guidance, I probably wouldn't study political science. I, I didn't find that gotcha. it was very useful. Did, did you ever, did you ever, um, did you ever do any like minors or anything like that? No minors. Minors? No minors. What about mining? So for me, I, I, I actually had to drop my minor in like computer science. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of friends who were in a blockchain at Berkeley. Yeah. And uh... <laughs> wait, he dropped. You got a quicker one. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, you got, you got a quicker question. Oh, okay, yeah. So you were talking about like homophobia, right? Before? Yeah. What is this camera angle? Okay, so you were talking about how it was part of like the liberal agenda, right? Correct. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a strange Yeah, like it's part of the liberal agenda, right? Yeah. I think actually, like even the way it's spelled, like there's um the letter M, and then after the letter M, the letter N. So do you know what an NFT is? <laughs> this is good. You, you know what I like about this? It's a. Uh it's a clear indication that the kind of folks that follow him are they're gamers i mean they're gamers they play video games which is generally something that indicates you have a tremendous amount of free time lack of meaning in your life probably lack of relationships as well and this is this is what they do this is what they do they got hella time and it's silliness and the worst part about it is that they try to push out their guy as like being intelligent We've seen that that's not the case. And we've seen that there's a lack of integrity there. And the sad thing about the, the fan concept is that based on being a fanatic, like you just won't, nothing will reach you. Nothing will reach you. And, and I don't expect it to. Like I, I wouldn't expect someone who engages in the kind of behaviors that he engages in to come back normal. It's not gonna happen. And the funny thing too is I, I know that he was raised Catholic. He actually went to Catholic schools, a all boys school, which is, I'm wondering if something happened to him while he was there that kind of led him to this lifestyle. The projection is so you strong with this guy. I'm so far back right now. Oh, I'm I super other stuff. Yes. Oh, okay, go ahead. I told people to send it cash up or PayPal if they want. Fair enough. No, carry on. Well, you're popping him up or you're catching him? This guy is obsessed with my dick and sexuality. Fanatic, get the f out of my chat, you f piece of shit. On, go away. You fing loser. Yeah. Shun him. The funny Shun thing Mr. Too Fanatic. Is that you know people are really psychotic because the whole point about him being a fraud Sean, Sean. and selling something he doesn't believe in, like no one wants to talk about that. That's the brilliant part that you guys got to be scared of. And that's why we're in a particularly dangerous era. He literally tried to scam you, the fan, but nobody wants to talk about that. It's actually quite a brilliant thing. Let's go through a little bit of data real quick. I find this stuff to be hilarious. There's actually a recent study, and I wanted to talk to him about this, but he doesn't want to talk about any of these issues because he doesn't like the facts, he doesn't like science, none of it. There's actually a recent study that came out of Johns, Johns Hopkins University, my, my alma mater. And this study, this report actually called Sexuality and Gender, Findings from the Biological, Psychological, and Social Sciences, which is uh, that's a lot of sciences. It states that there is no gay gene. And in the absence of a gay gene, this is really important because most of the folks who engage in his lifestyle, they try to say that they were born that way. That's really like the way I was out turned of explaining gay by trauma Biden. kind of guided them to this kind of deviant sexual behavior. So in the absence of having a gay gene, then they have to acknowledge what that trauma was. One of the things I found to be very remarkable during my time at Johns Hopkins University is that two things. Number one, um, Dr. Ben Carson, smarter than all of us combined, he said that there's no gay gene, said that a long time ago. And then number two, a lot of the nurses I work with were telling me about the incontinence of some of the older gentlemen that they were serving. And then number three, a lot of the people in the psychiatry field 
that I would talk to would say that every time they encountered someone who's engaging in these sexually deviant behaviors, there was always a situation where they were sexually abused in childhood. And one thing that a, a older gentleman had told me that I thought was really insightful, he said, Marquette, the reason that they have this story about being born that way is because they suppress the trauma and they don't want to have to talk about the reality of, hey, when I was two years old, my own father you know, did this the to entertainer? me or Isn't my that like uncle a Billy did Joel this thing? to me. And so rather than talk about that pain and that unfortunate happening, they'd much rather just say, I was born this way because then there's no explanation required. And I thought that was oh, wait, no, quite remarkable. Went. And then when you look at all of the data on pedophilia, you find that it's overwhelmingly homosexual, which also speaks to that same reality. And one of the greatest efforts of Great the LGBTQ is to lie about the origin Destiny, of their Destiny, just to be clear, I did mess you and I told you how I felt before I made the video, I right? The yeah, I still like you're an asshole. Meaning Fuck psychological you, origins. Bitch. Then they lie about, uh, well, you know, uh, pedophilia being when I get you know, invited to the cookouts, you're not coming to my cookouts. Fanatic. Occurring at the hands okay. of homosexual I'm male. These guys you. aren't really okay. homosexual. From it's those. about dominance. There's gonna be a no, big sign. It's no about fanatic sex. allowed. Whether it's about dominance or not, it's still guy on guy. And so there's a lot of lies going on. And the thing about this movement of sexual perversity and sexual oh, Anna freedom, added me as a friend again. <laughs> you have to ask yourself, what does it lead to? <laughs> You also have to Bro, what ask is my yourself, life right now? What if are everything we doing? is okay, what is where do we stop? The problem. What is going on, guys? This guy's an actual bot. You know that, like, if I engage with enough of these people, I'm gonna feel fucking insane. I already feel a little bit insane. Like, I, enter, I, I engage with so many of these people. I can't tell if most of you are normal or if you guys are like fucking crazy too. Like, how, who the fuck would sit and watch this shit? This shit is unreal. He's an actual fucking robot, and he's got like a high degree. He's got a master's. It's a, it's a kind of a funny degree, but it's a master's nonetheless is happening the real question is how do my neighbors feel about all of this what are you i can't even tell you Melina. i don't know how to make nfts and utilize nfts and there's also video footage that's why it's, it's a waste of my time it's just it's a petty insult you can literally watch video footage you'll purchase conference okay i'm gonna try to rebuild the bridge you'll literally see us well, i'm gonna try to rebuild the bridge with this guy. i'm gonna know, do like, this people okay are asking the question like can we skip this guy no no no, no. i'm gonna try to rebuild the bridge okay? i'm gonna try to rebuild the bridge so it's just like a total waste of time i was okay. like speaking spanish to someone who only knows english i'm not gonna do it okay we can do but this I the know true I issue this. you should I ask yourself is like why would the guy say that it's a fraud and then start selling them to you that's the question that he didn't want to answer and you okay. have to ask yourself if someone's in a debate or they're in an interview or a conversation why don't they the want to ask enough tea oh yeah enough tea enough tea enough tea that guy like hodor him trying to escape they're trying to distract and we won't have it Okay, Jamie says all of his fans look like victims of bullying slash incels. Absolutely incels. I mean, that's what gamers are at the end of the day. They're incels. That's what gamers are. We have Vilkin said, Marquette, tell a story in your book about this gay gene. Oh, man. And that's, I don't want to get them too deep, but yes, in the black box, and that just reminded me because I actually just saw this piece over here. In this book, there is a great story if you want to understand like a, a real narrative of a guy who was There's no way you could throw up a 900 before practicing homosexuality in a, in a ghetto long time ago when it was not very uh, How accepted. much you want to bet this guy's anti-Semitic um, too? He taught me a lot, uh, but he also gave me a unique perspective. So definitely recommend checking that out. You can get the black box on Amazon. Mo mo way more important than that, I want you guys to, if you're a religious person, pray for uh, one of the saints. Uh, he's actually in hospital right now. If you're not a religious person, uh, send some uh, positive wishes. Uh, he produces this right here. And uh, the reason I wanna mention this is because, um, you know, Daniel John, who's a good man, a very strong man. I know I've had him in my house, I I've shook his hand. Um, he's in the hospital right now and he produces this product, which we sell for him at thesassin.com. And he sold some of these to you guys. Uh, you guys have supported him, um, but he can't mail them out right now because he's in the hospital. And so I trust that he's gonna make a, a full recovery because he's a strong man. Oh, okay. We're gonna get this 900. For him. Okay. And I would love if when he gets out, we can send him a big check for all of these uh, necklaces. We're coming for the 900, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Um, but just okay. be aware that if you buy his necklace, uh, he won't be able to mail it to you because he's in the hospital currently. Um, but he will be out, uh, you know, God willing, soon. And so and support religious. him. Yeah, what's that? Support Daniel. Yeah, Clyde. support Daniel, absolutely. We wanna send him a big check. Um, so do support him, but know that your product will come after he gets out of the hospital and he's able to, to mail it to you. Okay, we have Jordan on PayPal said, where are Destiny's debate skills? The psycho turned into Stevie Wonder mid-interview out of frustration. Probably gonna enter a psych ward after this. 
Well, well, that's the thing about these people is that they all have mental issues. Like, so for example, one of the things they never want to talk about, like consider the trans people. Wait, did this guy just scam trans- live? Wait, is this guy telling you to buy jewelry for a dude in the hospital? Wait, what the fuck is this guy saying this? Wait, did that just happen? They want, which is the operation to remove one of their body parts. It turns out that all the data indicates that they have a higher suicide rate post-op, which is to say after they actually chop off their genitals, which is what they say they wanted, they then end up still killing themselves. And the reason that they do that Ah. is because aside from your genitals, there's so many other genetic markers that make you a male biologically. You're still not gonna feel like a woman, but more importantly, cutting off a body part is not gonna fix your true problem, which is in here. And I don't say that to insult anyone. I just say that because if we actually do care about human beings, we'd actually help the source of the issue, which is mental. It's not like I was born in the wrong body. I mean, this is a completely ludicrous thing. This is akin to me saying I was born a frog. Okay, on PayPal, we have Chris said, morning from Vietnam, just tuned in and see your chat is full of Skittle guzzlers. We're dominating at an away game. I see peace to the saints. Peace to the saints, yes, in a real way. I see Jabrizi sent two $50 super chats. Baller alert. I can't find them, but I can read them from here. He said, why do all Destiny fans look like guys who get bullied on Disney Channel? And then he said, Marquette, we don't want to be a businessman in technology who flies around the world in exotic cars with multiple women falling behind them. Right. We want to be a Twitch streamer playing games with our girlfriend being ran through a part of the LGBTQ. And you know, the funny thing about Destiny 2 that we all know is that just looking at him and just in case you guys haven't seen him, um, let's see, just looking at him we have to know that this is one of those situations where you know like if you didn't have money you would be really down bad this this is destiny right here right and i think this particular comment is funny and very instructive it says they say money can't buy happiness like clearly this guy is paying Clearly, and, and oh, look at the genetics on that net. Oh, that is unfortunate right there. Okay, we have Sir Lloyd. He's showing the, the he's showing a joke pic that I took with Molino on Instagram. <laughs> Shout out to Dan. He said they're blocking me from super chatting. Saint at Holy seven shit. three. I think he's talking a different video. You have destiny defend something unspeakable. If you need context, play from seven minutes and thirty seconds. Look up Brittany Fenty Destiny takedown. I uh, I need the link on that one. I'm not sure which video you're referring to. Dan, if you want to email Dude, where's my 900? Uh, to support at marquetism.com. Yeah, I don't know which one that is. Okay, hold on, it's coming. And here's another uh, piece of evidence. This one is on Reddit. It says the guy on the left is Ice Poseidon, who was recently exposed by Coffee Break for scamming his fans for over 500,000 in a crypto scheme. So this is the, well, one, I think it's strange that he's sitting in this dude's lap, but I, I guess like, hey, if you guzzle Skittles, like that, that's what you do. Guzzle but Skittles. Apparently guys, these guys team up on their scams. They team up on the scams. I'm not, I've never called for spam reports, but it's a little bit bullshit. No offense to the black guys out there. It's a little bullshit that you guys can still get away. You're living like 20 years behind us in terms of like rural enforcement online. It's pretty wild. You guys can just be openly homophobic and not get like any heat for it whatsoever. That's some bullshit just as a, an aside there, but cool story i guess pretty simple one <clears throat> and it's because they're engaging in unnatural acts like for example can you take that super shot for this real quick? Yeah. like for example I... they're not using protection <clears throat> which yeah hey it's fine do what you do <clears throat> but being that you're engaging in unnatural acts and like the penis is not meant to go in the the rear end it doesn't naturally lubricate being that it doesn't naturally lubricate you're getting tearing yeah, women don't lubricate with this guy either <laughs> on the penis and, the <laughs> anus. Drew. and it's the bleeding right and that's why it increases the transmission of hiv aids which is really unfortunate i'm not saying this is a good thing um but it's one of the obvious reasons and also they don't take any breaks right there's no menstrual cycle where they're like hey we got to take a week off no nah, they're going 24 7. they're going in and I'm guessing like it's not hard. You know, they got an app called Grinder. They just meet up in the bathroom and just start pounding away, Damn, broke I'm back like... mountain style, no lubing, nothing. Um, here's another. Uh, this guy talks about gay sex more than any Destiny. gay guy I've ever heard. You get to see his nature right here. Why you pull it up? Nick sent a super chat and said, having personally attended the conference when the topic of NFTs was explained, Marquette is everything he says he is and more. Because of that conference, I just completed my first tech certification. Can't thank you enough. 
I appreciate that, Nick. Shout out. Appreciate that. And, and this is just pure silliness. Like, Hold on. I got to focus. One second, Jesus. No. Fuck. Hold on. Dude, if I don't get a 900, I'm losing it. You, you, understand, you understand how dangerous, dangerous this road, you're going road, down you're going is, down that you're, going is that you're going to start to, to, to assume the experience, experience, experience of other minority. Gee, what is this guy doing? Dude, I can't do it. I'm shook. Michael said, peace to the saints. Did you hear about Destiny Spam selling? Yo. Hi, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's going on, Destiny? Yo, what is happening right now, bro? We've been watching this thing. Oh, shit. You're it is a dumpster fire, bro. <clears throat> okay, this guy wanted to bring me on to light me up on some shit. And he's like, he has like a certain interview style and I didn't want to play with it. And now he's like, really, man, he muted me in the back room. And now he's just going over all of his, I guess he's got clips of me and that's it. Yeah, no, yeah, we, we, we been peep. We been peep. Yeah, um... I was just wondering, you know, me and my chat was chat was telling me to get on there, but I don't I don't know where this goes from here, honestly, because he won't allow you to speak. And I was interested in this debate. I was interested in this conversation happening, but he won't allow you to speak. And uh, yeah, yeah, um, maybe we should just have a conversation then. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want to, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's probably interesting stuff to chat about, but the yeah, he's just he's one of those types. He's like a Jesse Lee Peterson in the making, basically. But yeah, yeah, well, nah, man. Um, I mean, I don't even really have a, a a topic prepared. We're just so invested in this whole situation now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We've been well, playing Minecraft for like the last two and a half hours. We've been streaming for like six hours. Damn, nice. Well, how's yeah, uh, how's life I going? I knew you wanted to talk about God. Um, at some point in the past, but um, I decided that, you know, I wanted to really get solid with my apologetics before we have that conversation, just purely out of, you know, respect for your debating skills. Damn, I don't know, like a bunch of um, like hardcore theology background stuff for um, debating like religious stuff. So, yeah, I mean, we could just have a conversation. It doesn't have to devolve into a debate or it doesn't have to be a debate. Not today. But we could just have a conversation. You know what? Let's have the... How about we have the conversation that I guess he was supposed to have with you in regards to... What were the topics that he wanted to speak about? Um, it was about me being racist and me being... And then something about homophobia. Right. You being racist. Now, I can't speak to why he would have accused you of being racist. I don't know what clips he would be directing that towards uh before this stream we were reacting to the stream you had with jitty on um where you guys were talking <laughs> about uh where you guys were talking about mm, uh voting and the importance of voting and you actually like moved my like i came on there saying i don't think voting matters really like i was like in that camp and mm -hmm. you moved me a little bit uh, maybe a more than a little bit, not all the way, but you move me towards the direction of, okay, I, I can see why we can entertain, you know, the idea of voting as like an effective means of, uh, you know, change in society. However, I still felt like you get far more out of like, if we're talking about the black community specifically, we get far more out of as a community coming together, pooling resources 
and building each other up than we ever would get from you know voting for someone who we hope will represent those things and try to put policies in place and we also know that just even if we elect somebody who completely oh, real clear aligns with i don't things that, tell anybody to report anybody um, i don't support the any community of that. wants don't they do not they won't necessarily be able to enact any of that stuff um depending on you know how yeah there's always like I, I agree there's like a multi-pronged way of doing things right like you can pressure people with your wallet you can pressure people with your vote you can pressure people on social media and on youtube channels like yeah everybody kind of has their part to play you know yeah mm -hmm. yeah so okay um Mm, mm. Yeah, I'm not even sure what angle he was going to take with the whole homosexuality stuff, you know, um, as well, a yeah. go ahead. <laughs> I, don't know <laughs> wanna, I don't know if I'm ready to burn hey, that bridge. <laughs> what? You don't know if you want to burn that bridge? Yeah, with you. Damn. How do you feel about gay people? Bro, I think it's all just sin. Personally, I believe that it's all just sin at the end of the day i don't feel any particular way about gay people i believe that uh as human beings that are descendants of adam and eve who have fallen are part of a fa part of a fallen creation we all have a desire to sin we all have a uh, a fleshly nature that rejects it god and yearns to please the self and the flesh and that manifests in a variety of ways for some people that manifest as the desire to you know have relationships that contradict the wisdom of god ultimately it's all about god's wisdom and our desire to defy him and that will so what any model that god has presented us with as his way as wisdom there are going to be those that are attracted to going the other way and so god created man and woman he created the institution of marriage and so there are going to be those who want shabby. to just go in the opposite direction of that so that's how i feel about it but i don't think there is anything particularly you know Tears different feel. about people who are attracted to that sin it's just this, they have a different sin that appeals to them does that make sense sure gotcha okay yeah you um, know yeah i mean i can't argue with uh if you're if it comes from a place of your like spirituality or religion there's not much for me to say so all right just cares right right <laughs> right i mean are you open to the yeah. possibility no, no okay so here's a question that i think i would be able to manage navigating do you believe that god exists no okay why don't you believe that god exists because i don't believe i've been given compelling evidence for him okay so I think the best argument for existence is an intelligent creator. The reason I think that is because everyone, including the greatest scientific minds alike, as well as, you know, just my own ability to observe the world and think critically, have come to the conclusion that this existence this realm this world this universe whatever word you want to use has a point of origin and everything that has a point of origin has a cause anything that begins to exist has a cause that brought it into existence would you agree with that yeah but then i'd ask well who created god so okay that's a great question so i think that the creator always has to be separate from the creation. Hold on, give me a moment. Let me change my screen right now. I still have this saint and sinner guy up on the screen just yeah, from no problem. the stream. So let me get you up on the stream. There you go. Yeah, I think it's very that he asks a clarifying. You're question. still live on YouTube, right? Yep. This point. All right, hold on. I guarantee there was no damn to you. Now you sound ridiculous. You're still live on YouTube, you right? Okay, boom. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah, so as I was saying, as I was saying, um, okay, so the creator has to always be separated from the creation, right? Like a painter has to be unbound by the canvas. He needs to be able to manipulate it. A painter can throw away the canvas and not be affected by it in any meaningful way. So 
all we have to do is look at the things that govern our creation right our world and one of those things is time so whatever it is that created the world also created time we also See, agree I, that if the world that, no. or the universe came into existence at a certain point that was also the origination of time because time wouldn't have existed prior to um the creation or the world well can i and just so, say that like that the universe mm -hmm. is eternal like you say god is eternal like how can we prove either one how can we prove that the universe is because time is real well but that doesn't just because time is real doesn't mean it's not infinite like numbers are real but they're also infinite right yeah but we agree that time is linear well, Do we? yeah but linear it just means it goes from from back to forward but that doesn't mean it's not infinite in both directions right like you're treating it as a ray right like a ray has a point of origin and it goes infinitely off in one direction and i'm saying that it could just be a line that moves linearly from left to right but we start um we start at a point and we keep moving but it, it could go infinitely back and forth right sure however okay so let's let's work backwards then do you agree that there was a point in time that this world came into existence when you say this when world say do you mean the world, universe or do you mean i don't like the term universe personally i don't use that term uh -huh. um but okay for argument's sake let's use the term universe yes can we agree that there was a moment in which this universe came into existence i don't Prior know that to which it did not exist i know that they say that about 13 so 13 or so billion year uh years ago oh there the, you are hold on my bad my oh, bad sorry. i didn't realize you you shared your video with me oh so no I you're good lag yeah, I think about 13 billion years ago, the Big Bang happened, but I don't know it was before the Big Bang. Maybe it was another universe or maybe it was. Yeah, I have no idea. OK, but we can agree that the evidence suggests the best argument that we have today is that there was a point in time where there was nothing prior to it. Right. No, and I don't think I don't think any scientist would make a claim that like they know what was there before the Big Bang. Right. OK, so your argument is that the universe simply just existed forever. Or it could have. I don't know. I don't know if anybody knows what was before. We don't even really know 100% of the Big Bang happened. That's just a guess based on a lot of cosmological and physics. But um, I, I mean, I don't know if anybody knows what came before the Big Bang. Yeah, no. Um, the best argument that I've heard um, on behalf of, you know, the scientific community is that the universe came into existence at the Big Bang. That's what they say the best evidence suggests. Well, that, that we Big know that our universe has, right now probably came from a big bang we know that but we don't right, know what happened before the, the big bang or what caused the big bang that we have no idea there could have been a whole other universe before that or not right sure that's all speculation but i'm just trying to stick to what the evidence suggests like when i took take a look when i observed the world mm -hmm. when i observed the world through my own experience time is linear time exists mm -hmm. and uh, we know that entropy is real things are constantly moving towards a state of decay and chaos which means it's moving from a state of perfect order or at least uh, a lack of decay mm -hmm. is that is that logical um generally we agree that time is increasing on a maximal scale or that entropy is increasing on a maximal scale although on a local scale i think in qm i think entropy can actually decrease there's like a weird uh qm argument about that but i think generally entropy is increasing in the universe yes i mean you just said that sometimes entropy decreases do you mean the rate of entropy and for those who might not know what entropy is um could you give a definition of that mm. So it generally requires energy to keep things in an orderly state. And as those bonds start to break, things become disorderly. And that would be an increase in entropy. So if I were to put like a, like a bunch of balls on top of a pillar and I were to push the balls off, like the balls represent high potential energy, they drop, they have kinetic energy, things are becoming more chaotic. And eventually everything settles into a state to where nothing is happening anymore because all of the bonds that could be broken are broken. All the things that could decay have decayed, and things are just kind of like at maximum chaos. There's no order to any of the matter that exists anymore. It's like, like a sloppy explanation. But on a quantum level, uh, locally, sometimes entropy can decrease for strange reasons, and given an infinite amount of time, I don't know if there's weird shit that I don't know if that's relevant to this conversation. But yeah, generally, entropy increases. Uh, things break down, things become more disorderly, and things tend towards maximum chaos, essentially.
Right. In my ability to observe what is around me, things seem to always decay. Things don't just, without any intervention from an external source, start to, you know, um, become more orderly mm -hmm. or repair itself. Mm -hmm. Things just always get worse. And we see that is consistent with the nature of the universe, right? Scientists say that the, the universe is constantly getting colder, right? We're moving towards um, some kind of you know, thermal death, or uh, I'm not quite familiar with the term. I'm sure you probably have heard of what I'm talking about. A point when like, the last star will fade from existence and then it will just be cold and nothingness, right? Sure. There's a limited amount of energy in the universe that exists. It can't be created or destroyed and uh, things just constantly decay. All of this suggests that it is all moving from a point of origination. Yeah, the Would Big Bang. Okay, so that's why I say just basically looking at the world around us, it would suggest that there was a point of origination. That's why Stephen Hawkins, all of the greatest scientists, they believe that the best argument for the beginning of the universe, beginning of the world is the Big Bang. Yeah. And so time, we know, is a component of our world. It's not just a, you know... Time is really complicated. I don't know what you mean by it. When you say a component, what do you mean by that? It, it's an it's an actual component interwoven into the structure of our universe. We know like time, the time space continuum, the fact that time literally, you know, um, changes or the, the passage of time changes based on, you know, things like the speed at which you're moving or the, the mat. We know that you know, the mass of certain objects in space, you know, affects the way time works. We know it's a, it's, uh -huh. it's a, it may not be tangible in sense of the, something we can hold in our hands, but we know it's not just a concept that we have in our mind. It is an actual measurable component. It's, you know, baked into pretty much every significant physics equation there is, right? It's a real thing that we can measure, track, we use, we interact with it. Would you agree with that? Um, yeah, sure. So time is a component of the universe. So whatever created the universe mm -hmm. had to be unbound by time, meaning it is eternal. So I don't know if I, I don't know if... Here, here's the reason. I understand there's a lot of tricky ways to try to talk back through the Big Bang, but the reality is is that you and I both could come up with 50 million things that could have existed before the Big Bang, right? What do you mean? Like, it could have been the fact that the Big Bang was made by a dude in a laboratory where he created all the conditions and then he sparked it and disappeared. Um, it could have been the fact that... The what do you mean by a dude in a laboratory? Though? Like, it could just be some guy in a laboratory and we all exist in a box, right? Like, we don't know, right? Like, it, we could be in a big box that is... I Maybe don't I... think I've ever experienced anything to suggest that. Well, but that's the thing. I've never experienced anything to suggest a God, right? We can talk about like the spookiness of the origins of the universe, but I mean, there's what, 5,000 some religions that can give you some kind of story for how the universe was created. But I mean, I don't like we can't, it's not like we can pierce the veil and see what happened before the Big Bang. Some people believe in something called the oscillating universe theory, where the universe maximally expands. And then once it's hit its heat death, that the gravity actually draws everything back towards the center until it all collapses on itself and then causes another Big Bang. So the universe is literally just like expanding and collapsing and expanding and collapsing again i don't know if that's true or not but i'm just saying that like i i know that there was a I, well i don't know but i suppose that there was a big bang that happened at some point in time but i don't know what caused it i don't know if anything existed before that it might have literally been that that was the start of time and space itself but i, I don't know i have no idea i don't and I, I would need something more than like well it started and who started it well here's god i need like i need to see that like well where's how do i know that god did it or anything else did do you know so okay let's um let's try to like move through that Mm -hmm. So, whatever created the universe, again, has to be unbound by the things, the unbound by the creation. The creation is all, the creator is always unbound by the creation. Mm -hmm. My argument is that everything that you can perceive, measure, detect in this existence is a part of the creation. That includes time, space, matter, energy. Whatever created that 
is unbound by those things. So when you say something like, oh, it could just be a dude in the lab. When I think of a dude, I think of you or me. You feel me? When I think of a lab, well, why, I think of yeah, I understand. Lab, laboratories. These are things within the creation. Well, how so, do we know what the Big Bang was created in, right? Like, that's what I don't understand. Like, like could, could theoretically, couldn't the Big Bang have been created within another universe that did have time and space? Like, maybe this started our space time. So, yeah. I don't know if when God created the world, he did it through the Big Bang. That is not what the Bible communicates to me. So that's not the art. I'm not saying that's not how it unfolded. Uh I don't know. So I'm not going to speak to it with any level of like um, definitiveness. However, um, when you say where the world was created or what it was created in, Explain what you mean by that. <clears throat> okay, what I, I understand the goal of your conversation is you're trying to say that it looks like our universe had some sort of origination. And when we say that the universe began, that's when we say that time and space began. So if time and space began, but there was something that was started, it would seem to be the case that the person that started time and space must have necessarily existed outside of time and space. Therefore, mm-hmm. you're gonna start building an argument towards God. but. When those we're, we're playing a very complicated language game when we start talking about people that exist outside of time and space. That's like an incomprehensible. That complicated though. It's, well, could All you right, go go ahead? I don't. Well, yeah. I mean, ahead. like, if I were to ask the audience, can you guys conceive of existing outside of time and space? Would like I don't think anybody can. I couldn't. I don't know what it means to exist outside of time, and I don't know what it means to exist outside of space. Uh, even high on mushrooms, I don't know what that feels like. I'm still in time and space. So to try to imagine what somebody outside of um, time and space is doing like i don't know if the universe was created uh, within another I'm time do, yeah. hold on wait i'm gonna try and do your thing where you write stuff down so you don't oh yeah, yeah sure sorry yeah hold on hold on wait, wait, wait. Get a notepad. like i'm just saying it could be the case that like somebody in a different time and space created this universe or it could be that everything just started with the big bang and the big bang didn't have a cause it didn't have a start just like how you would say god is eternal or god began or god has always been maybe when the universe started maybe that's when all of time and space began and nothing happened before the universe right so <sighs> I only caught that last point on mm-hmm. my notepad about, um, you know, maybe it didn't have a cause, but that does that isn't logically consistent with our experience of reality. We've never ever observed something happening without a cause. Secondly, we've also never observed something creating itself, and lastly, we've also never observed order yielding from chaos um, in any meaningful way. If you ever, you know, if you if a tornado passed through a junkyard you would never in a million years believe that it would be possible that uh, a 747 would have been left in its wake you know what i mean sure but you're claiming that god was started without any of those original things right so why couldn't the universe have been that's what i'm saying i'm I'm not yeah i'm not just claiming i'm saying that is what logically would have to be the case whatever would have caused our universe because again that is the best argument that this world had an orig- a point of origination. Whatever caused it to occur had to have been some been caused by one an intelligent mind because of the you know fine tuning of the universe, the orderly nature of the universe. Everything is governed by laws. Everything works perfectly. Everything um, you know you just change even the smallest element on an atomic level. You can you completely have a you have a completely different product right Mm -hmm. and uh, not in a way that suggests that it would be able to function um so we know that so whatever it is that would have brought this creation this world into existence would have to be eternal now just because we cannot here's a a good example you and i um live in this three-dimensional space and uh, i'm sure you recall a point in art class where you learned how to draw a three-dimensional cube on a piece of paper right Uh okay all right so now something that is two-dimensional cannot fathom three-dimensional space it it has no concept of depth it only has it only exists on the x and y axis it cannot fathom now it could conceptualize the idea of it just like how we can conceptualize okay eternity eternity is no beginning no end but because it is 
larger than what we're able to experience it's that is why it feels so uncomfortable we have no point of reference we have no example in our realm to look at to say oh that's what eternity looks like because it's it would be akin to a two-dimensional like object pointing and say oh yeah this is what a rubik's cube is you know like it, it really wouldn't be able to grasp that and that makes us uncomfortable because in my observations human beings are incredibly uncomfortable being in a position of ignorance but that said um it doesn't disqualify the logic that everything that has a beginning has a cause nothing is able to create itself whatever caused our world to come into existence must be unbound by the things that govern this world um and so what is left is an incredible not incredible well an incredible god but an incredible creator uh a intelligent creator an eternal creator omnipresent all-powerful omniscient and so um you know we can just like say things oh yeah the world is happening is happening in my shoebox you know we can just say a bunch of silly things all day mm -hmm. but like if we're going to be intellectually honest that model is the most logical model that someone can present everything else is just science fiction Woo, you know, Thanos snapped the world into existence. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. Okay. I, I, I understand your argument. Just so you know, yeah. I'm sorry, fuck, I'm not trying to cut you off, but I normally I stop my stream at 10 o'clock, so I have to leave pretty soon. But I'll give you, do you want to give me, uh, or for my audience too, I'll give you like five more minutes. What's your second most compelling uh, argument for the existence of God? Go for it. Hit us up with it. I think that's, I think that's the most compelling ex um, argument for the existence of God. I don't think anything trumps that, personally. Okay. okay. Um... Damn. Well, aside from that, I guess, uh, how are you doing? What have you been up to? Any new fun things? Did you end your crusade on Islam? I noticed you were debating a lot of those guys. Are you still no, 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 no. I wasn't debating a lot of those guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I thought I saw you doing some videos on it, but okay. What's up? I, I did one video. I did one video on it. I oh, did okay, one gotcha, video. Gotcha. Okay. I did 14 videos on me, so that's why it might have seemed that way. Oh, gotcha. But um, yeah, yeah. No, I, I never had a crusade on Islam. Uh, one day uh, I was just chilling and then Sneeko invited me to go on stream with him. I was like, all right, cool, bet. I got in my chair and then I opened Discord and I see four Muslims. And so I was like, okay. And then I find out at a later date that uh, Sneeko, um, I don't think intentionally, but introduced me again without, to, without my knowledge, introduced me as, oh, here is my Christian friend who is here to debunk islam mm -hmm. and so i get in there thinking that i'm about to ask questions about islam because i wasn't prepared to like debunk or debate islam i didn't know anything about islam at the time besides you know the superficial stuff that most people know mm -hmm. and uh, um they came for that smoke you know what i'm saying and so that turned into them making multiple videos about me which you know motivated me to make one long response video and then that turned into 14 videos made about me subsequently. Damn. But yeah, I yeah, I don't I don't have a crusade against Islam. I don't have a crusade against anybody. Okay. Person. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. But um, yeah, well hey, listen, if anything's ever going on earlier in the day, <laughs> give me a shout and I'm always free to chat. For um, sure. Nah, you know what would be dope? I would love to pull up to one I one of those like panels you got. Are you in my Discord? Yeah. I well, you're like your um your server? Um, yeah, let me link you. If you join this, I can give you roles, and then anytime you see people up in that room, you can always just like hop in if you see shit going on, okay? Okay, bet, 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 for sure. All right, Destiny, well, you know, I'm sorry that earlier debate you were supposed to have turned into what it turned into. That was mm -hmm. going to be interesting if it went like properly, but. Yeah, no problem. Do you have uh, do you have raids turned on for me? Um, Raids turned on for you? Oh, no, oh, mm -hmm. L streamer, I don't even. I'm on YouTube. I'm streaming on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, I know. Figure out how to do it, and uh, I'll raid you before I end the stream, okay? Oh, boy. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Look it Figure up. It Good luck. I'll probably right, end in like five or ten minutes. All right. See you later. Okay. All, All right, right, guys. All right.
normal shape. They all look like they're like they just got off a of Pornhub, especially this guy. Like, good. <laughs> this guy be on Pornhub. <laughs> serious. He didn't damn near broke a finger. Bro. You heard me? Like, he going, yeah, yeah, on Pornhub. Then you got this guy got no facial hair. Like, he ain't even went, went through puberty. This dude is going through reverse puberty right here. <laughs> Like, then look at this guy right here. Cool. This is a disaster. Oh, you know what's up? Hey, yo, look, I mean, like, goodness. It's like, this is what we're dealing with out here? Like, this guy. Like, honestly, bro, when's the last time you got laid? When's the last time you got laid? Why oh, sorry, me. Oh, sorry. I was looking at another tab. Uh, <laughs> I was just going to dumb as hell. What, what, when, when did nerds become dumb? I thought a condition of being a nerd is that you're smart. God damn. Alex in a cash app, he said your post notifications are not showing on YouTube. I'm not surprised. Hey, I have a quick question. I'm, act I'm actually, I'm, I'm a full. What? Uh, I'm going, I'm going crazy. All right, you're right. I'm, <laughs> I'm trolling too hard. I'm having too much fun. I'm having too much fun. I'm having too much fun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize to the sensitive people out there. It's funny too when you've come to an era where the white man is in such decline that you know you go from being the slave master in the land and now you're like calling yourself the victim like that's insane why I, why is he allowed to be racist and homophobic that's such bullshit. and then he plays this fucking racist victim card on me what a fucking loser but sue this b for defamation Damn, i didn't defame somebody i could have sworn i played his clips I played his clips. This is crazy. He got hella money though, according oh, to Oh, he was transphobic too? Well, I lose some transphobia. Yeah, that's NFTs. way I'm down. About to buy one as soon as I figure out what an NFT is. It's way down the road for these guys. For They're people like this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Once I figure it out, I'm buying hella NFTs from Destiny. Push back on his IT knowledge. Depending but he's a scammer. Video, like, unironically, like, he's an act. I'm not like just says, saying that. Uh, I think he's actually mind. a scammer. I don't think he knows anything no. about what he talks about. He, he's one of those people that sells like self help courses and then like sells jewelry or some shit, I guess. Whatever he was scamming for earlier, but I don't, he doesn't actually know anything. He's a charlatan, right? Because if you knew the answer, you wouldn't be saying weird shit like, I did a tech conference. Like, what does that I have even a video. mean? I, um, what's that video where I'm uh, in Colombia doing pull ups while giving a lecture? Do you remember what it was called? It's like, I think it's called How to Be a Hard Man or something like that. Yeah, I like think that. that's right. Yeah, I have a video uh, called How to Be a Hard Man. Check it out. Um, I'm doing pull-ups while giving a lecture. I think you might enjoy it. I think you might enjoy it. On Cash App, Jalen said he's never got laid. None of them. <sighs> I can tell. My dash store dash b eight eight five two five dot creator dash spring dot com. I want to put my boat. Holy <laughs> shit! Damn, they're having fun out here. I think this one's my favorite one. This looks like some fucking Chinese knockoff. It actually probably you is. You kind of look like my Auntie Leslie, a fat Italian woman. <laughs> Have you ever seen Auntie Leslie? No. no. Okay, he kind of look like Aunt Leslie. It's great. Look at this guy. He ain't never you look like Charles. This <laughs> 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 is getting fun. It's like musical chairs. Like, hold on. Oh my God. Are you overweight? Yes or no? Uh, I think so. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair What's up, Marquette? Marquette. Marquette. Marquette is the name. Oh, wait. Is this guy like the leader of like a fucking cult? Yo. Is he wearing a flesh colored t shirt? Are you wearing a flesh yeah. t shirt? Saint is Maybe. my primary identity, superseding all other identities <laughs> race, ethnicity, nationality. This is good. What country are you in? Oh, I'm in the US. You're in the United States? End night with yeah. free association journaling. Uh, oh, he's this guy is actually like a cult leader, like an unironic cult leader. Very good, very good. What's your life about, gang man? What's I'm saying here. What's your life about? What's going on with your life? Uh, I'm at school. I work. Uh, I work like 20 hours a week, almost full time. But uh, I can do school. But... Can you can you enunciate it a bit better? I just yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I go to school. Uh, I'm. I don't want to say more. He makes 14k a month on Patreon. Yeah, I saw that. His lowest yeah. tier is 22 a month. I've read a few papers that reference the gauging that we're talking about. So uh, at this at the school that I go to, I wonder if these are real or if he's if he's like, like a, a scammed it somehow. Campus, but it's really close. Is where the the first human genome was sequenced. So can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What is an NFT? Uh, Don't answer. I'm not totally sure. Me either. Me either. Fuck it. Go ahead.
dick. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, but real, but real quick, but real quick, are you bisexual or homosexual? Uh, no, I have a girlfriend. You're neither bisexual nor homosexual. No, I, yeah, I'm not. Why do you care about this? Uh, one particular thing. The, anything related to LGBT? I'm, I'm assuming you're about to articulate a story about you being a an uh, an ally. Uh, like yes. I mean, no. just yes, yes or no, my boy. Like, goddamn, like d don't pretend I think, you're, I think, about, I think it's you're a bit an ally and you're about to articulate a story. But the question is, like, why? Why do you care? So, uh. I, I mostly I care just because it's relevant to what I do. So it's sort of it's not really like the focus of what I do, but usually it's like I look at evolution. You're taking a bachelor's and, degree, correct? I'm uh, studying. Yeah. You're studying for a bachelor's degree. Uh, yeah, I'm preparing for my master's. Yeah. God damn, why is this so confusing? I mean, you're come on, man. Right, yeah, so like I, I I work in a lab and. <sighs> okay, I'm bored. I don't want to be here all night. All right. Uh, well, this was a. Why can't we bully this dude? Uh, I don't encourage you guys to do anything because we're supposed to be above that. Um, you know, but you guys knock yourselves out. We'll see if we can host Young Don. See what wild shit he's up to. Ripperino, cappuccino, pappuccino, hoppuccino, mappuccino, dappuccino, cappuccino, appuccino, alpuccino, my duderinos. I will catch you guys next. Shibu